Fuck, what am I doing here? You bring him out? Yeah. I just don't do that. Has anyone else ever done that? I don't know what the other. I'm going to pretend that I know how to use the mic stand. Six years in stand up and still don't have a fucking clue how to do it. I'm just going to add the mic to the next dance. Um, I never really thought that I would do stand up comedy because um, my charisma guys said you're half hour and half hour. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, are we ready for the next? Is the next, is the next act here? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Put your hands up. I've been Zara Barry and it's been really fun. And, um, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a long one, right? This is a long one. He's about to do a two and a half hour set, okay? I'm not even joking. Nobody leaves this room. This man is, this man is a legend. Like, no one else has, I don't think anyone signed up for this long. So give him the love and respect that that deserves. Uh, give it up for Russell. Thank you very much, Zarberry. Give it over to Zarberry, everybody. All right, let's break some records, guys. All right, two walkouts in the beginning of a two and a half hour set. My confidence is sky high. Thank you, guys. You could have chose any moment to walk out, and you decided first 10 seconds. As if a two and a half hour set in Banbury, a place that I'm not even sure exists on the map, at a time of night where not even the Lord is aware his children are out. I don't know if anybody has taken a walk down the high street too here. It's not exactly the most encouraging as far as wanting to do comedy. I think I saw seven penises, two people being fingered, and at least three people throwing up. And uh, there was a fight going on. There was a fight, and then I thought, don't worry, man, I'm gonna get to the safe sanctuary that is the attic. And lo and behold, I came in, and apparently they're all on the other side of that wall. <laughs> it's just sort of a dugout. They're all just sort of like waiting here, sparring, you know, getting in shape, and then they're out on the high street to put their work into action. Plenty of seats empty, a lot of people in the back. I assume we're just here for detox. <laughs> I had a look at the back. It doesn't look like anybody's here for comedy. A lot of people are just here because they're almost about to black out. And their friends didn't want to be total dicks, so they're like, well, let's just sit you down so that you don't get a head injury and I feel really bad tomorrow. That's the kind of designated driving you get in England, isn't it? Like, I'll just sort of like, I'll, I'll, I'll just make sure you don't get injured. I'm not going to stop myself from getting as drunk as you are. If anything, seeing as how drunk you are is making me fucking jealous right now. I need to get more pints in me just looking at you. Then that person inspires the next person, and the next thing you know, it, it's all the way up to Scotland and into Wales, and the whole country is drunk together, and it's a beautiful thing. And amidst all of that, for some reason, is a guy who's teetotal who decided to do two and a half hours of comedy in an absolute vortex of debauchery. There's a great chance my head's going to be in that cage by the end of the night. You're all going to be chanting around me shirtless with day glow on. All right, this guy's going camping. Give it up for that guy. I just inspired that guy to live a life off the grid. He's like, Russ, this desecrated wasteland that you have just described is the bane of all existence. He's on his way out right now. He's probably going to kill a couple people on the way down the street. Just stabbing him with crucifixes. The Lord hates you. It's not He's going to go, what? It's not Australia. It's not Australia. Guys, I'll be accepting all kinds of factual information if you want to yell out. You are correct, sir. This is not Australia. Given the time of night and how drunk I assume you are, I'm giving you five stars for that fact right there. I, at least you know where you are geographically on the globe. That's the best I can ask for in this room right now. This is not Australia. Anybody in here thinks this is Australia? Me. That guy. All right, he's already lost himself. You come, how, my, how the mighty have fallen. With that Australia comment, really put a dick in my whole groove there, sir. I was really vibing for a minute. It's like I was spinning records, right? And then you literally plopped your dick on the turntable. <laughs> a needle bumped right over it, because I got a strong set of I got a strong set of turntables, guys. <laughs> My turntables will break your dick right in half, pal. Break it in half. Why were you hard? 
What's the matter with you? You're gonna throw your dick on a turntable. Do me the decency and keep it flaccid, all right? I got a hard cock on my turntable. That, ironically, was one of my first singles as a hip hop artist. Hard cock on a turntable. It was a B side. Didn't quite make it in the charts. I don't know why. They said it was something about the title. I said, look, man, artistic integrity. I'm not changing it. Long story short, I ended up playing this shit gig at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> the moral of that story is don't follow your dreams, guys. Sell out to the man. That dude with the tent is going on a long journey that leads to nowhere. He'll find out just like I did. I don't know what that guy was carrying on his back, man. It looked like a kayak of some sort. What's that guy doing in here? You know what freaks me out is dudes who play snooker as an American, for about six months, I thought they were carrying rifles. <laughs> freaked me out, man. I was like, oh, you guys got open carry in England as well? All right, these two girls are walking out. I understand dicks on turntables is not for everybody. <laughs> Tell your friends there's nothing in here for them. We keep, we keep narrowing it. What's that? All right, they'll be back in the morning. Did they say they'll be back in the morning or in a moment? Morning. In the morning. Well, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? This is the Mrs. Morning Time. This guy's got a coffee. I like the cut. I like how you're rolling, man. This dude's in for the long haul. We gotta keep the momentum up, guys. It's only the first half hour. Yes, welcome to the show. This is what I love about this room. You lose two, gain one. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you already, the energy you're bringing in here is worth four to their two. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to be a dick, but can we all agree those two that walked out were really bringing this shit down? Yeah. Could you feel that? Yeah. I felt like they were judging the dude for talking about Australia. Yeah. <laughs> and mate, I'm not going to lie. You, I, I will take you over them any day. And you have arguably added negative amounts of that. I mean, and I, I don't try to be an asshole. But that Australia comment almost threw the whole thing off the rails, man. Next thing you know, there were dicks on turntables. <laughs> but you know what, man? We're glad to have you. Because you didn't walk out of here. You're not a quitter. By the way, if anybody does need to walk out, I mean, feel free. I'm not an animal, okay? But just so you know, what's beyond that curtain is beyond your imagination, okay? I've been out there. Now, it's, now the party just started, man. Now the fucking party just started. Get in here, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fuck yeah, my sensei just arrived. <laughs> you guys thought I was doing kung fu before this guy showed up. It's about to get real, real now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say by hour one, I'm just gonna be on the ground. There is definitely gonna come a portion of this evening where you're just watching a man drink coffee. <laughs> And I feel like the Guinness people are going to see the video of this and go, yeah, um, you've been disqualified. And they're going to go, why? Well, that guy wasn't actually doing comedy. <laughs> he was talking about dicks on turntables. That just doesn't qualify as comedy as we understand it. What's comedy, Guinness? That's what I want to know. This is going in the Guinness World Records, right? Uh, I mean, this shit better not be for the Banbury Almanac or something. Right? <laughs> I'm not risking my life for the Banbury World Record. What am I going to be up there with, like, the Banbury's largest cupcake? <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. You guys can win some records for debauchery based on what I just passed coming out here. What's that club? Moo Moo? Moo Moo's, yeah. Is it called Moo Moo's? Yeah, don't go to Moo Moo's. No. I'm telling you, man. It looked like the seventh level of hell that opened up. <laughs> People were crawling out. But man, it's, it's alluring, isn't it? There's a reason why they call it Moo Moo's. There's a reason they call it Moo Moo's. Yeah, it's a, a cattle market. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah, see, that upsets me because I walk by Moo Moo's and I'm thinking, like you said, cattle market. But I feel like I wouldn't get laid there. <laughs> and that angered me. You gotta understand, someone should have warned me. Google Maps should have taken me into an alternate route. Because I walked by Moo Moo's and I looked inside Moo Moo's and I said, by all accounts, anyone should be able to, to get laid at this place, it looks like. I don't think it would happen for me. Gotta have a different attitude, a different vibe. Gotta be a douchebag. And here I am, a sensitive poet. <laughs> here I am, just a poor, a misunderstood genius who makes poor career choices. <laughs> 
everybody all day was going, dude, are you going to do the 2.30 to 5 a.m. spot? I was like, yeah, what's the big deal? And it wasn't until I was just about to come over here, I was like, oh, yeah, this is the worst decision anyone's ever made. <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking? This guy goes, hey, man, you want to do two and a half hours of comedy tonight? I was like, hey, let me ask you a question. Is my name Russell Hicks? Of course I don't want to do it. Get my sensei on the phone. Make sure those two drunk girls in the back get out of here post-haste. <laughs> and then there'll be one dude with a tent in the corner just when I start. <laughs> You better fuck right off. That guy's making a fire right now, man. He's polishing up his rifle right now, talking to himself. I am the angel of death. <laughs> I don't know, man. This dude's sitting in the hole. He's fucked right out of here. Good for that guy, because he looked like he was up well past his bedtime. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm not, like, sagging him up, but I'm just saying, when you get that age, he's about to get up in about ten minutes. <laughs> when does that start happening? You start waking up. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I can't stop sleeping until noon right now. Really puts a, hang, a, a damper on the day. You gotta go, no problem. No, no, no. Oh, you're no. switching to spit. Oh, yes. getting a little bit better view. I wanted to look at you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this show's really kicked up a notch. Right? She wants to get a better look at this. There you go. How's that profile? To be honest with you, I think you were at a better angle. Yeah, I've never been a fan of my profile. I think you've got the good spot right there. As you guys can tell, I made an effort for this gig. <laughs> I haven't cut my hair in several weeks, and I masturbated into this shirt this morning. <laughs> I flipped it inside out. I'm not an animal, guys. <laughs> Most of it got on my socks, so don't look at me like that, okay? I made a deal with myself that I wasn't going to do a lot of wanking material. But I was doing a club earlier, right? I was in uh, Birmingham. I went to prison, right? Yeah, which is like Moo Moo's cousin, right? <laughs> Prism is like, Prism is like Moo Moo's cousin that is actually like, is oddly like the, the good one, you know? <laughs> Moo Moo's is like, oh, Prism, ooh, you're so special. People don't get fingered outside of you. <laughs> they wait till they're inside Prism. But I'm sitting in the club and I was like doing this really mainstream comedy club and all I could think to talk to him about was like penis. And you always go into a mainstream comedy club with the best of intentions. You're like, not tonight, man. I'm going to do highbrow stuff. Maybe I'll do a bit about physics. I don't know. I'm going to throw in a Chopin reference, something, man. I'm going to get, I'm going to meet him. They're not, I'm not going to scoop to their level. But basically what happens is the reason you start doing dirty stuff is because when you're surrounded by people like that, you have nothing in common, right? If you had to talk to the people from Moo Moo's, like if you had to, you're like, you got to sit around with the people from Moo Moo's and you got to think of something. The only thing you can think to relate to them is like, hey, we've all got genitalia, don't we? <laughs> they go, yeah, we do. And that's it. And then you're off and running. So that's why you end up doing dick jokes when you do a mainstream club. If any of you guys are thinking of getting into comedy, just know that I said that. I don't know why you want to get into comedy. I should think this set should be sufficient to turn you off of it for the rest of your days. I'm a working comic. So you'd have to actually try a couple years to get to this shit level. You got a lot of open mics to do to get to this 2.30 a.m. spot. All right, how much time I got left? Two hours. What is it? Four thirty? Are we here yet? Are we here yet? Fuck uh, yeah, man. All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna get like, okay. There's like what? Thirty people in this room. You guys are in good hands, okay? I'm gonna be very relaxed. But I guarantee you, probably all of you are gonna have to get involved at some point, just to fill the time, okay? Right? It's not gonna be a lot of questions. Maybe just a little bit. Don't feel like you have to give me any really exciting information. Just enough to dupe these Guinness people into thinking I was actually doing stand-up. <laughs> Where's the camera, huh? You can suck my ass, Guinness! No, don't do that. Don't do that. They gotta watch all 96 hours of this, man. What if one of the dudes at Guinness is connected to the comedy industry, sees my two and a half hours, and it's like, what the fuck, man? This guy's wasted over there. <laughs> Gets on the phone, everybody passes. One guy's interested. Weinstein. What am I gonna do? It's a fucking burger, but you're gonna make my dreams come true. 
I'll be honest with you guys, by the second hour of this show, I'd probably let him jack off all over my face. <laughs> Whatever it takes, Harvey, get me out of this hell. <laughs> Guy had no game. That's what annoys me the most about Harvey Weinstein. You know? It's like, dude, you're rich. You're halfway there, you know? I'm not, I'm not saying, like, women... This is the thing. Hey, by the way, this is a bit of an um, iffy bit to get into in half hour one. <laughs> this is a half-baked idea that probably has no point, nor a punchline, and might come out making me look like an absolute dick. But here it goes anyway. I'm just saying, like, this is what I think when I watch that. Uh, some women, not all women, if you're just, like, rich, you, let's say you're a celebrity and you're rich, you don't really have to do much after that. Just, just enough game. That's what annoys me. You don't need to be like a super, super player. But just, come on, man. Have a little respect for women and give them the decency of like, you know, like if you're super rich and a celebrity, you literally just have to be like, good evening. And they'll be like, okay, I'll suck you dick, right? Like, that's it. <laughs> now, I'm poor, right? My game was incredible back in the day. I knew all the tricks, man. I was negging and bobbing and weaving, doing all the moves. You know, Weinstein, he's fucking filthy rich. And he's got zero respect. He just walks out and starts jacking off all over the bushes. What the fuck, man? Have a little respect for the craft. You know what I'm saying? A little respect for the craft. Do you know what I would have to do to walk into Moo Moo's right now and come out of there with one of them? Two and a half hours of comedy? Two and a half hours of comedy. You think that would impress those movies, girls? Hey, I heard you were being super creative. That's awesome. You're so smart, do you read? And then all of her boyfriends are like, I smell books. I love watching, it was great, man. Did anybody pass that? It was like a really huge, like a fucking brawl. I mean, I was like, a good 15 minutes late because I was rubbernecking it. <laughs> oh, I'm so shameless, dude. You know, it's like guilty pleasure. Like, you know how you, you, know how you get some trash TV? You like, oh, okay, I watch like first dates. My, yeah, you just can't do it. You, you're flipping through the channels. You mean well, you're like, oh, Attenborough's got another documentary about animals. Another fucking documentary about animals. How big is this earth? By the way, guys, if you are going to walk out of here, do it as loudly as you can, alright? I mean, I mean, knock the chairs over, have no regard for the people in the row with you, step on them, kick them in the shins, make an exit, you know what I mean? Entrances are overrated, I say a big exit is the way to go. For example, look at how I'm ending my career tonight. You see what I mean? I'm going out with a fucking bang, man. You guys are gonna see me in a, in, in a week. I'm gonna be standing outside Moo Moo's in like a polyester shirt. <laughs> Didn't you used to be a comedian? Used to be. I'm hanging Moo Moo's now, dude. There's something kind of peaceful about that, isn't it? No. No. Yeah, yeah just think about it, man. They look so peaceful. There is a reason they call it moomoos. You say it's a cattle market. I say it's because they look like just happy cows. In a way, don't they? When you're that dumb, there's a beauty there. Sometimes I don't know who's wrong, me or them. I always judge them, you're hanging out at moomoos. But who, who's wrong? They're the ones that are happy. I'm the one thinking about myself with the same level of intensity as Stephen Hawking did the universe. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you guys talking about that? No, no. No, absolutely. I, I know you are, because I'm getting nothing but positivity from you. But this interaction here would be an example of the kind of time filling I warned about earlier. So if you could indulge me with a few minutes, I think it would really help the momentum of the show. Because I was about to go on a long-winded rant about the um, zen nature of someone hanging out at Moo Moo's. We're just saying, what you said about Moo Moo's been cut, Mark. I've not been up to Moo Moo's since it's been Moo Moo's. 
Because you were at Moo Moo's before it was Moo Moo's. <laughs> what was About that like? About 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you're looking great. Give it up for this lady. She's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what all that not hang. That was one of the worst applauses I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be up here for two hours. <laughs> this is the level of applause I'm getting. <laughs> Thank you. You guys were in trouble. <laughs> I think it's best now just to accept our fate. There's no way we're going to get through two and a half hours of this without it getting there. There's going to be dead spots. Yeah, that's right. But I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it, man. You can do it. You can do it. Of course I can. I mean, I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm going to get through it. I like the way this guy just walked in. Every fiber of my body is saying, Okay, your friends. Good. That makes me feel good, man. I was thinking, who the fuck is this hot rod coming out of here? I like the way you entered, though, man. Swagger. Walked in, sat down. Everybody know who's boss. How do you know this guy, man? Were you Norwegian? Hmm? Banbury, born and bred. Nice, man. I, th I would say that was a bit of a redundant phrase. Well, no, that's not true. I like that. Born and bred. Nobody tells you that. It's like, okay, you're born in Banbury, but let me ask you, another, did your parents fuck here? <laughs> so you said born and bred. That's what I really want to know. So I see a lot of people say, where are you from? Oh, I was born in, I was born in London. Where were you bred? <laughs> Now that he's out, I don't know where I was, Brett. Thank you very much. Look at that. We're actually experiencing alternate universe heckles. People are yelling at me, he's so smart. Fuck yeah, man. This is exactly the opposite of what's happening at Moomoo's right now. People yelling, he's so smart. My sensei is on his phone, but that's all right. He's got a lot, he's, he's probably managing a lot of websites. Right? It's true, man. You're the leader of a lot of comment boards, I imagine. You gotta moderate a lot of shit. There's people arguing over who would beat the X-Men, the Avengers or Spider-Man. This guy's juggling, this guy's spinning a lot of plates here. Not to mention only being at my show. Where were you, Brett? What? Cyprus. Cyprus? Really? Nice. I was supposed to go there pretty soon, actually. Yes. Welcome to the show. All right, guys. I'm get oh, you are already here. She's come back. She's come back. She was here. That's repeat business. That's a repeat, man. That's someone coming back in. What are you guys talking about there? What do you got going on? Sorry, I just need a drink. So I'm sending my Anybody else need a drink? This lady's going to the bar. <laughs> We're going to have to do beer runs here. We can't have everybody walking out when they need a drink. We'll lose the world record. How ironic would it be if we lost the Guinness World Record because everybody went out and got a goddamn Guinness? I can't live with that kind of irony, can you? Not with a man who was born and bred in Banbury, you guys. <laughs> How many people in here were born in Banbury? No. All right. How many people were bred in Banbury? No. Their parents left <laughs> to, to born them. No, I'm from Nottingham, mate. Huh? I'm from Nottingham. You're from Nottingham. I like Nottingham. Yeah. Yes, I do like Nottingham. Why is that? Okay, I'll tell you. Did I like tell you? Did that look like I was uh, setting it up too easy? <laughs> I felt like we were on a, a variety show in the 1960s there for a minute. And why is that? Any cuss of the toughest? Please don't answer that. Seriously, don't answer what he's asking you right now. Why? Do you want anyone staying? Please don't answer. Really? You're telling me this guy has the power in whatever he's going to say to walk this whole room? Adam, I can't deny that. I can stay because I can lip read you, so. You can what? I can lip read. You can lip read? Yeah. Alright, anybody else want to brag? 
<laughs> you can lip read. Right? I didn't know that could, that could really happen. Yeah. You can do that, huh? Make him go. Make him go. Yeah. I, I can't. Can. No, 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 no. What's that, man? No. Go to the bar, you cunt. <laughs> Wow. Hello, that's a bit harsh, oh. isn't it? <laughs> Man, I gotta, guys, I gotta say, I'm siding with him on this one. That was a bit harsh. Yeah, Go to the bar. Now, I don't know your guys' lives. But, and I don't want to tell you how to live yours. But go to the bar, you cunt. His mates at the bar. So What's that? His mates are at the bar. He wants to go. No, he wants to stay, I can tell. I'll tell you what. You do whatever you want, you cunt. You understand me? Seriously. You relax. High-fiving. Great. Why do you why do you know how to read lips? Why do I read lips? Yeah. Because I'm half deaf. Are you half deaf? So, oh, okay. But you, but you learn to read lips anyway. Yes. All right. Nice. Which year is it? Both. You're half deaf in both ears. <laughs> Shit, man. It's really confused me. Half deaf. Do you want a challenge tonight? What's that? Do you want a challenge? Do I want a challenge tonight? Yeah, I don't think the chips are stacked against me. <laughs> Guys, what do you say we make it interesting? I think this is a bit too easy so far. Being in a room full of drunks at 3 o'clock in the morning in Canada. Some guy walked in asking me questions about nodding and he seems to already have the answers to him. And then when he talks to us, his girlfriend calls him a cunt. And I can't tell her not to because I just found out she's fucking disabled. So now I look like a dick. I know! Who are you? I'm his girl. I'm not his girlfriend. I'm disabled. I'll say that. Yeah, she is. No, I don't like that. You're not. You, I say you, you know how to read lips. That doesn't make any sense. No way, man. I always wanted to read lips. You know that? Good luck. Is it hard? How do you learn? Nearly 25. Take me 25 years. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? No, I'm serious. Do you use it? Fucking hey, man. You must be able to. Ask the guy. Ask the guy. He's at the door. How far away can you read the... Boy, that is really oppressive section of the room right there. <laughs> if you're not calling each other cunts, you're trying to shut each other up. <laughs> uh, it, I, do you... Is it the case that you sufferers shout like, if you're deaf in one ear, you've only got two brain cells, one's lost, the other's looking for it? That's a good point, mate. I'm going to come back to that. <laughs> That's a good point, bud. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. See what a little bit of confidence boosting does for him? <laughs> Jesus, he didn't even wake him up every morning calling him a cunt. He's still hanging out with other friends. Get up, you cunt. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, man. I understand. You guys gotta go get drinks or something, man. Dude, I tell you what, before I, um... All right, let's all relax. You guys good? Breathing? Calm, man. Vibe. All right. Let's just let that be what it is. Let's talk about monkeys. I heard that. I don't know what they're talking about now. It's all right. All right. Back in the room. Oh, left. Yeah. To be fair, you guys. I didn't know what I was going to do for the next two hours. <laughs> Let's talk to this poor guy. What's your name, man? Mine? Yeah. Uh, that, that's for you to decide, you see. <laughs> How can you hate a guy like that? <laughs> you know, you know, man. What are we going to name this guy? Sean. It can't be all up to me, Sensei. It's got to be your decision. Dave, Sean! What, right, Dave? Sean! No! Sean! No, you got... Dave! Yeah. Oh, family. You can oh, name this by anything you want. Sean! Say Asgard? Yeah! Yes! You are Asgard now. Thank you, Bam Rude. Your I name is this. Sean! You're welcome, Asgard. Don't call him that! Don't call him that! Alright, can we call him Sean Asgard? Yeah. Alright, no, okay. You're pretty cool with that. She's like, yeah, we call him Sean Asgard. That's, that's, that's 
Yes, I agree with that. He can't just, his entire name, he can't be all of Thor's village. We'll have to give him that. You fucking love that more than anyone in this room. Didn't you? The rest of you guys might not have been too tickled by that, but I just made his night. A Thor reference in the first hour? Oh, this was a good decision, my friend. It was indeed. It was a good decision for you to sleep in that extra three hours. Get up at six today. What's your name, bud? John. John, how you doing, man? What'd you do today, John? Uh, I was here till two in the afternoon and I slept and I'm here again. You were here till two in the afternoon and you slept and you came back? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now we're cooking with gas again, guys. John brought us back after Asgard brought us right into the toilet. No offense. Thanks, Pat. I can read lips. Not that that's not awesome. I just realized that if I want to insult you, I just got to go like that. No, you're doing a good thing. Totally ruining the show. No, seriously. You guys are fucking fantastic. Fuck off immediately. Fuck you. Really, you guys got that sick balls, you know, or something. Hey, hey, thank you for coming. Now listen. <laughs> appropriate. Now we're back in the game. Jump, 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 jump. You did that, John. You gave me what I needed to get myself back into the game. We're back in the ether. How much time do I have left? About two hours. Two hours left, man. We can do this easy. We can do this easy, man. We got it. Thank you, John. I was here. Oh, please stay. Please stay. All positivity here. No, that's it. Yeah, please. We love you. All of you guys are great. We love all you guys. I mean, we love John, but we also love Sean Asgard. We love this. Do you mind if I just call you Lips? I know it sounds a bit dirty. We call her Lush Lips. God, you guys are so picky over there. Can it be Lush Lips? Yes. Okay, Lush Lips. Jeez. All right, Lush Lips it is. Good old John. You don't see John demanding any extra additions to his Well, Johnny Lush Lips is pretty good. Johnny Lush Lips. You know what, man? If you go to certain bars in London, dudes will look exactly like you and be kind of They usually be dancing in something like that. You know what I mean? That's a thing, man. John, I don't know if you've ever made it into the more metropolitan areas. <laughs> Much like a lot of people in here, I assume you were born and also bred in Banbury. No. No, you weren't. Where, where were you born? Born in Yorkshire. Born in Yorkshire. Bred there? Yeah. Yep. And you made it down to Banbury? Yeah. Would you mind telling me as much detail as possible how that journey came to be? <laughs> I'd like to take a sip of my coffee, John. I was in the army for 25 years, and then when I got out, I moved to the Midlands. You were in the army for 25 years? Yeah. Okay, this guy's seen some shit. Nobody make any loud noises, all right? John, you gonna be all right? Yeah. Okay. John's been in the shit, man. Don't want anybody getting him excited. You just take it easy, John. Thank you for your service. And, uh, were you in the British Army? Yeah. All right. So if you were in the American Army, 25 years, man. I think we started like 18 wars in that time, so. You've been pretty busy. I remember my dad telling me to join the Army literally 2000 and September 10th, 2001. This guy was like, I swear to God, my dad's going, you gotta join the Army. I was 18 years old. You join the army, join the army. Yeah, next day. I was like, well, look how that would have worked out. <laughs> Unless that dude had some inside information, he was trying to get me killed. <laughs> I'm saying I think my dad worked with Al Qaeda, you guys. To get me to move out, he was sick of me not paying rent. Got Osama on the phone, he's like, all right, man. All right, a little too dark, guys. Come on. <laughs> Not dark enough. Come on, drink up. Not dark enough, says this guy. Welcome to the show, my friend. Please you picked a good table. And by the way, you're facing the right way if you got secrets to tell, okay? <laughs> hey, trust me, all right? I got spies over there. That's why Johnny Lips over here is facing this way. Yeah, Johnny Lush Lips, I apologize. Well, he's Johnny Lips to you, newcomer. 
<laughs> you haven't earned the right to call him Lush Lips. Hey, if you're going to call him Lush Lips, man, you haven't been here for the whole show. Everybody in here has sucked his dick. I feel left out. You know what? It's crazy. He, he came every single time. I've never seen anything like him. He stayed sitting in that position. He didn't even move. <laughs> Every time he shot one off, he said, this is for another one of my boys, now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't forget he's facing the cop for knocking them. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like when you read his lips? <laughs> is it just like hearing his actual words? <laughs> Because I bet you that you took an extra 20, 15 years because you didn't think you were doing it right. <laughs> right? Like you're trying to read this and you're staring at your boyfriend going, I fucking suck at this. <laughs> it feels like he just said, bobbly bibbly, not a moment, chip chips. <laughs> and then you went out in the world and realized that he actually speaks absolute gibberish. <laughs> and you're like, holy shit, man. I was a professional lip reader 10, 10 years in. <laughs> so, this fucking lunatic for the last 15 years. In the 25 years you were learning to read lips, Johnny Lush Lips was out fighting for your freedom to do so. Isn't that crazy, man? 25 years you were learning to read lips, 25 years you were in the army. Yeah, he's not still good. Synergy, you guys. This is creepy, man. Numbers are happening. <laughs> How old are you, Border Prey? Yeah. 24. 24. Wow. He's probably wow. lying. Oh, no. 25 years, 25, 24. It was close, man. It was almost there. I'm still a puppy. All right. All right, new guy. Welcome to the party, man. <laughs> hey, this guy's been a great addition so far. I think we can all give to this guy. I'm just saying, <laughs> you certainly do what you can. <laughs> and you can do a lot. Glad you glad to enjoy it. I do enjoy it. It's nice for me to have a little entertainment while I'm up here. <laughs> thank you for that. No problem. Oh, thank you. And what's with the rest of you? <laughs> this, guy, this guy's in here doing a show for me. <laughs> Johnny Lush Lips, you are right. You're on leave right now. Right? You You're in the reserves right now, bud. You miss a lot. You didn't, I mean, yeah. yeah. It's been like an hour, I think. I hope. <laughs> I pray to whatever God I believe in. Don't worry, I'll drink up and I'll catch up. What's that, man? Yeah, drink up, man. Catch up. Basically, we spent an inordinate amount of time talking about Lumos. <laughs> What's that, mate? You have a question? You can direct them all toward me. All standard etiquette for a comedy what, show what, is what out the drink? window. Do you want a drink? What are you drinking? I was drinking coffee. Yeah, but do you want a, do you want a drink? Do you want a drink? drink? Do you want a real drink? Well, I would like another coffee and a water. I actually don't drink alcohol, which Can makes this situation coffee? even more odd. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all have a reason for being here. What's that? We'll have a oh, sure. Can I ask you a question? What's Where were question? you when I was 12 to 19 years old? <laughs> All I needed was one lip reader. <laughs> As I was sitting in the corner, nobody having lunch with me, counting my pogs, oh, no. hiding my erection. <laughs> For you to come up to me and say, hey, hey. I heard everything you just said to yourself. So how did you do that? I read your lips. Probably a completely different area. What's that? I didn't used to live here, so... Yeah, where did you come from? But remember... Where did you come from? That's where did she come from? All right, well, you guys are having fun. <laughs> Welcome to the show. All right, that's a good point. I mean, you can't. Say that's not factually accurate. All right, I'll tell you what. Can I get a uh, Can I get a cup of coffee? Oh yeah. Too much to ask. That's too much to ask. Can I get a black coffee? Actually, don't, don't get me one. Can I get a black coffee and um and another water, please? A sparkling water, a soda water. Sparkling. Lemon and ice. Yes, please. Lemon and ice. Well, better give it to me straight. Chewing in the cubes gets in the way of my groove. Chewing the cubes takes too much time. This is crazy, man. The room has shifted. It's a whole. It's like every 15 minutes, this becomes a whole new environment, doesn't it? Right? It's a whole new energy. 
you guys are here now, right? Were well, you been here the whole time? I was there. You were there. Right? <laughs> it changes a lot when you're here. I actually was born. Oh, I just came in. Yes, you just came in. Thank I'm you for coming in. You're the new. You're not really anymore, man. You're a veteran now. I'm a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> No, to be honest, I'm going to wear it. No, I'm joking. Yeah, have a seat, man. Go ahead, get closer to, get as close as you want to the magic. I understand, dude. If I was you guys, it'd be everything I could not to jump on this stage. Just pounce on me right now. What's that? Absolutely. You guys are being a lot more polite than I thought you were going to be. Yeah, go ahead. You can sit there if you want. Sure, go ahead. Very brave of you. Don't forget your drink. Yeah, don't forget your drink. Oh, don't forget your drink. He's on the So here we are, man. People in the back, what's going on? He sounds like a sheep when he How are you? Go inside of Asgard, lovely. Excellent addition to the show. Even though it was summarily vetoed. It was a good call, Asgard. Did you see the new Thor movie? Yeah. I wish. What do you think? You wish. <laughs> hey, you're an adult. Go buy a ticket. This <laughs> <laughs> the saddest story I've ever so I wish. <laughs> what am I, a millionaire? <laughs> That's definitely Thor Ragnarok. Come on, man. What's your life like? What am I, Mark Zuckerberg? Ah, <laughs> uh, Facebook shit. Yeah, I know, man. It's a bold statement. It's a bold statement to pay in very 3.30 in the morning. Facebook shit. Hey, you hear me in Silicon Valley? Somewhere a red light just went off at Zuckerberg's desk. What? What? Guys, get in here. There's a disturbance in Banbury. Yeah, where Moo Moo's is. No, we're not going to Moo Moo's tonight. Someone just said Facebook shit in Banbury. Let's get some intel on our intelligence. What does the liberty say? Some of my knees feet destroy me. <laughs> We've done everything we could here at Facebook. <coughs> it all starts in Banbury, man. <laughs> I remember when we sent our first agent, Johnny Lush Lips, <laughs> to do reconnaissance for the Russians. <laughs> I'm not on social media. Um, you believe that? No. I wish what you guys are witnessing right now, no one's even gonna believe you. <laughs> like, oh, we saw this comic. Oh yeah? Let me, let me look him up on Tinder. He's not there. Let me Snapchat him. He's not there. It doesn't exist. It's not on Facebook. Fuck you. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck off. Go to the bar, you cunt. Hey, cunt, go to the bar. Read, and walk backwards so I can read your fucking lips. This will make you walk backward in the house. Walk backwards so I can read your lips, cunt. I'm fucking deaf. I'm half deaf in both ears, you cunt. I'm a quarter deaf in an eighth of my ears. <laughs> Do the math. Do the math, cunt. Walk backwards. Where are you going? I want to see Ragnarok. You want to see what? You want to go see Thor? I got your fucking hammer right here, pal. Ain't out blind in both ears, deaf in both eyes. Alright, that was funny. <laughs> That was a, a live production of Misery. I've done. <laughs> you, you passed the two times. Wait, guys, they're remaking all the franchises now. You know Johnny Lash has an in over in Hollywood. <laughs> Get the word to Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, that's a oh yeah, dude coming. Sorry, what? Oh, God. Guys. I I really, after all that, you've got the momentum back to zero again? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, just go tell them what you're missing. Just say hold the phone up, though. Freya. Hold the phone up. Freya. Who's Freya? I bet you I guess. Oh, you? I would have never thought that. Who thought she was Freya? She's, no, she's you look like a Freya. Freya. That's Freya. You're Freya. God, she is. How do you spell that? I'm Freya with J. Right. She wants to come sit up front. Have a seat. Go for it. Fucking Cinex Eve, Fred. Fucking all right, you guys. Fucking Cinex Eve, Fred. I like how you guys treat your friends in band right. Oh, fucking Cinex Eve, Fred. She's got a shotgun. You just need a map to find your friends. <laughs> Nowadays you, need a, nowadays, you need a map to find your friends. <laughs> this guy, when, when, this, when he speaks, man, he doesn't speak a lot. But it's magic every time. <laughs> you love me. What's that? Not you. I, I do love you, man. Of course I love you. Maybe he loves me more as well, don't you? You don't even know my name. Oh my god. I really look like a Gerald. You look like a Gerald. I'm not a Gerald. You know what? Do you know what sucks? It's just not all right, man. I hate to give you that because you're so like, I know I'm right. I always am. I can't help it. Sometimes I get up in the morning and I say, Gerald's a crusher today. And I always do. I'm so sorry, It's like playing a video game, you don't want to cheat codes to it. I can't afford video games. Why are we all picking on Freya? She's frowning. Hey, lip reader. She feels she's oh, she should have friends Hey, lip reader. Hey, lip reader. This is like crazy. Are we, Guys, are we she really is that. Freya, no, no. Freya, Freya, stay with me. Are we embarrassing you? Don't you worry about it, Freya. Just us. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be sad. We love you. It's fun. This is a comedy show. This is exactly what it's supposed to do for you. I do feel like suddenly this has become a private event, though. How did that happen? Why did you guys let me get circled like that? Suddenly this became a really secluded... Yeah, listen to me. Thank you, Freya. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to him. Johnny, it makes me feel good that you've got the upper hand right there, all right? <laughs> Johnny, with a bit. Cuff in the back. Not a boy, Johnny. All right, Johnny, I'm sorry. You were telling us about your life. So you were in the Army for 25 years. Yes. And you, uh, I assume, went AWOL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six years ago. You left the Army six years ago. All right. I think I know the story after that, right? You lived in Hell's Kitchen for a while. <laughs> oh, no, I feel it was an incident lovely. with your family and you vowed to take revenge. <laughs> Someone wearing a skull on your t-shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, the Punisher is a big That was all for you, mate. <laughs> well, I gotta do something. This poor bastard's not allowed to go see Thor. <laughs> Trying to give him some dose of it. I don't know what to do. Maybe he can't go see Thor because your fucking movie theater closes at 8:30. <laughs> Banbury, come on. I was like, all right, I'm staying at a hotel. That's why like everybody that lives in Banbury does not go to Banbury Cinema. Banbury Cinema, the, the, the Odeon, the yeah. Odeon. Oh, wait, which wait, would have been a great name for you, by the way. <laughs> we're with Asgard, we're gonna call him the Odeon. Nobody goes to Banbury Cinema. Wait, Nobody Banbury goes to the Banbury cinema. cinema. Banbury has a cinema? That's what I, I didn't know that yeah, either. Exactly. I know Banbury has an audience. I'm doing, I'm doing it again. Okay, guys, the gig is hit an all-time high. <laughs> We're debating whether or not Banbury has a cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I can it's only... It's a high point. Yeah, I mean, how can you get much better than this? Do you guys have a little? <laughs> no. 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 I was trying to find something to do before the gig, and there's a cinema right next to my hotel, which I've immediately regretted telling you. <laughs> so the Odeon, literally, I'm going to get a call later. Yeah. This is, you know, you need a map now to find your friends. <laughs> but you can find strangers anywhere. Oh, shit. <laughs> How did you find me, Asgard? He busts my door down. I am Asgard! <laughs> and I have become one with Odeon. <laughs> Asgard and Odeon. He's gonna hold me down at gunpoint. Make me go to the <laughs> cinema. Tell him to open it up and play four. Like, mate. Like, get a half for the plane ready, player one. Now I'm Thor! Tell him to open it up and fire it up. So uh, I was like, I was trying to find something to do before the gig, right? 
and I go to the Odeon, and I was like, well, I just thought, oh, I'll see a, I'll see a movie. No. They're like, uh, last showing's at 8.30. I'm like, well, way to really burn the candle at both ends, man, Bray. <laughs> bad burritos at a party. Everybody lights outside Bob town, is that cool? Like <laughs> yeah. The only thing open is movies. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, no more on movies, man. Can't do. That's it. That's the last I want to hear about it. That's the last I will hear about it. Yeah. Nobody, in this room. Yeah, Nobody else in this room talk about Mehmed. All right, Johnny, you left the army. Yeah. And then what'd you do? All right, so you're out of the army, right? Yeah. You've given your best years to the service of this great nation. You're a hero. You're a hero. You walk down the high street. I imagine there's some sort of parade. Johnny's sure back. Johnny Lush Lips is He's back. A hero. He's a hero. That's right. Then what, then what'd you do, John? Uh, cyber security. Cyber security. Yeah. Way to think ahead, man. <laughs> That's so fucking great. That's so weird that I did That's say that you were working for Zuckerberg and then you say you're, you're actually doing cyber security. What? Darren who? <laughs> That's how easy it is to be a medium. There's a clairvoyant um, in my... Because I'm staying in this hotel. The guy that uh, booked me for this, he, he booked me at a hotel and he told me it was haunted. <laughs> I really wish you wouldn't have shared that information. Good idea. That's the worst thing about being. It, it doesn't That's the thing. narrow it down. It do, no, because it is. It's haunted. It's the haunted hotel right over there, right? Yeah, it's seriously haunted. But if you wouldn't have told me that, I wouldn't have known it. You don't. You don't start thinking shit's haunted until someone tells you it's haunted. Like if I told you this place was haunted, you know, you'd start being like, oh yeah, you'd, you'd be seeing it everywhere, right? There's a lot of things. This place is haunted, though. Yeah, this place probably. Yeah. Yeah. This place is definitely haunted after this weekend. <laughs> the souls of thousands of comics are dying. <laughs> yes. Floating in and out. How your best? Right. You gotta go. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I actually won't be here, but uh, you were here at one o'clock, weren't you? Ah, uh, yes. Adios, señorita. Good luck with the man. She is a she's a chef. She makes Mexican like, food. Like, True. Sure. Makes shade Mexican right food. Uh-huh. Two shades. Exactly. Right there you go. Wait, what? I don't know. I was just saying what you said. You said that moment. Thank you. She's in charge. <laughs> That's the kind of decor I would like. <laughs> One time a comedian told me that you know you've created a good vibe in the room if the audience feels like they can shout at you. He just said, "Do you want to go out?" What if you make them feel comfortable enough they can release bodily functions? <laughs> How about that? Because you guys have already been yelling at stuff. I mean, Freya feels good, so I've done my job. But this guy's just letting out burps. Honestly, man, I want to make you guys so comfortable the dude is not even shits his pants. I like how you're taking this crowd. Your girlfriend's not going to know she's going to shit. Let out gas if forward. Those olfactory nerves connected to the auditory, she wouldn't be able to smell it. What is the question? I don't know. If you're gonna sit on, if you're gonna be in the front, I'm not gonna be mean. How did you know I was gonna be mean? I, I was gonna say something. You, <laughs> you could see I had my mean face on. I had the coffee in my hand. The whole this was a glimpse of me as an old man. Coffee in my hand. Coming out of my house with a microphone not attached to any speakers. People are like, oh, there's that old dude. He's always walking around you with a microphone. Get off my lawn. Yeah, thank you for assuming I'll have a lawn. I'm going to be in some council flat. Just fucking walking back and forth, banging on people's doors, saying, who stole my lawn? You don't have a lawn. Live in council flats. I had grass. I had a lover. Johnny Bush lives. 25 years. First battalion. I was trying to make a joke. Johnny Bush lives. You're trying to make a joke, Fran? Not as easy as it looks. I don't mind. Fred, we love you. We love you, Fred. We do love you. Keep it positive. Thank you very much. We're all in this together, you guys. Even the girl who's been on her phone for several minutes. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I actually think she's just better than what <laughs> For those of you who have kids, you know, just get the iPad and shut the fuck up, right? I'm equal to No, it's all right. Stay on your phone. It's basically the equivalent. 
You on your phone right now is the equivalent to me of having a TV on the SUV behind you. And you're just like, watch SpongeBob kids. Daddy's got to drive for two and a half hours at three in the morning. Yes, watch the TV, guys. Get entertained however you want. Oh shit, you dropped. Your life just fell apart right now. You dropped everything. Phone, beer, still laughing. Can I just make sure you are spilling your drink? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> electric. Oh, boy, hey. oh yeah, the electrics. Oh my god. <laughs> Watching me at the O2 right now as I just started to fade into existence. Where is he going? Well, he's being killed in the past by some girl in the I'm not going to live to see the fruition of my career. It was an O2 Academy for those of you that can't feel a little bit here. Brixton, O2 Academy, I rented it myself. I paid for it on my own. Careful, she's gonna pee herself. No, no, fire, fire. Alright, the electric. Don't worry, guys, we got a fire extinguisher if we need one. I've got it. Oh, man, is it gonna be like this the whole time? I was kind of hoping it was gonna mellow out for a minute. Are you about to wait yourself? Alright. Fight. I'm dead. Welcome to the party, my friend. Got a brand new guy. Let's just ease him into it. This isn't a very good indication of what's happened so far. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, okay. He's just doing silent reading or something. Lip reading. Lip reading, yep, I remember that. All right, so anyway. <laughs> uh, we can't keep treading over old territory, guys. What's past is past. All right, let's move forward. Let's put a bow in it, all right? Lip reading, Johnny Lush lips, girl who pissed herself, Fran, <laughs> Nottingham dude, the lip reading lady, the one with that poor pussy Ragnarok, those are all done now. Those are all done now. We're moving on to new territory. Born and bred in Vanbury, don't think I forgot about you, bud. We're moving on now to new people, and new friends, new experiences, guys. Can't acknowledge anyone. You belong to Act One. This is Act Two now. Oh, you looking for the mess, mate? You looking for the mate? It's a, you spilled a drink. Right over here, buddy. Right over here. Right over here. There you go, man. Yeah. Don't, uh, yeah, just go ahead and... There you go. Guys, give it up for this guy, man. This is one of the best mop-up jobs you've ever had to do. Ever. Good on you for just totally basic instincting this thing. This is great. Spills down there, I think, guy. You did a good thing just now. Good for you. That's very noble of you. A lot of girls in here would have covered up. <laughs> Leftovers of some sort of Victorian oppression. <laughs> Not this enlightened child right here. <laughs> she let that kid get right down in there. But now I love Clean up my spill. <laughs> and hey, while you're down there, here's a little eye candy. And look who's done it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Looks like I didn't get it all, eh? Hey. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to need a third sweep of that. Have you done that? Don't be oblivious. I know, yeah. It's amazing. Boring. Anyway. Yo, you came to get some. Yeah, I said, hey, I heard there's a spill here. I heard there's a spill going on. Uh oh. What's going on? Sorry, Karen. 
That's all right, man. Thank you to that guy. It's nice to know that somebody who looks like he can actually defend himself physically is within the vicinity of the room. Okay. Thank, oh, all right. Oh, it's very late again, guys. Sean, I'm always funny. You know something, man? Maybe this is Australia. Maybe that guy was right. Remember that crazy guy? Like, we're in Australia. He knew we were living in fucking Mad Max world. It's lawless, dude. Put a hockey mask on to use Johnny Eaton's Lord Humongous for sure. When do we get together? You guys are going to have me tied up. Taking my nation ransom for petrol. Okay, man. Well, what was all that about? You guys seem very concerned with your abrupt leaving of your friend. Um, actually, I'm quite thankful. It's you. okay. Clowning head. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I do what I can. Um. I do what I can. I was looking out for her because she seemed. Fire. <laughs> she seemed it. Yeah. This. I'm too. I'm too honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does to people, okay? You're not too honest. Now, between you and me, that guy is a okay. But you, you, she was right on that. Why are you Wait, I thought nine of people didn't make sense. I didn't know one. Nothing stands between a real man and a four, okay? I don't know. No, pray. What's going on? Why'd she, what's, why'd she leave? Why'd she, oh, okay. Buddy. No! All right. No! All right, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Reset the gig. No more friends. I mean, you're good, Trey. You can hang out. I'm not with him, but... All right, guys. You can be, Trey. I suppose I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Oh, Stop being rude. Seriously. Stop being rude, but she's... Well... I suppose I always knew I would die in Banbury. I had a premonition. Well, you never know. You'll die in part of Nottingham too. I've been to Nottingham several times, and I can verify that a little bit of me dies each and every time. But it's a great night. You can't fault this guy. Almost everything he says is factually accurate. And I've never come out of Nottingham and been like, ah, that didn't mean that good. That's okay. <laughs> Nottingham is a great night out. Thank Nottingham you. is a great night out. Baby. I, I guess you got to be up for that kind of night, right? It's an interesting night. Yeah. 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 I should, I would like to experience that. It's the kind of night you don't want to remember. Maybe we could pitch that as a Channel 4 doc. Like, like you dress me up, I put on like a suit, cut my hair. And I just go straight into the belly of the beast, right? Not even night out. That's that's one way of speaking about it. Put a tie on, just probably do shit up. I'd, I'd, I'd uh, lubricate too. Lubricate, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not an after all. Yeah, yeah. Lubricate. Don't, don't, that's right. Got a hat, Johnny? <laughs> Freya's going too. Freya's running away. All right, you out here, Freya? No, I'm sorry. Okay. She, she's run away. I just want to go to the bar to get drinks. Go get drinks if you need. John. Go get drinks. We just need 10 people in this room. Otherwise, the record is lost. Oh. Oh. I can't oh. have that on my watch, you guys. I can't have a record on my watch. Tell me, you know me. No, no, no. Pray, we have plenty. No. <laughs> 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 what are we around? All right. I'll go to the <laughs> guys, guys, I deserve that. I was fucking her around. I'll admit when I'm wrong. I was fucking her around. Why am I playing games? See, I learned my lesson there. I let her pass. Quit fucking me around. Wise words. Wise words. I'm not gonna lie, I've run out of things to say. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm joking, man. No, 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 you've done enough. I would say you could sit this one out for a You've done enough. You've done enough. You've been a big help, but I, I would say a good 50 straight minutes, you could probably just relax. You don't need to say anything more. You kick back and enjoy yourself, alright, bud? You sit back and let me do all the work here. 
Let me do all the work. You my life if you want. can only hope it's 15 more minutes. Big eyes! Let's focus on this side. Not a lot. Good people over here. All right, who works in Banbury? Besides you, big guy. What did I say? One. All right. <laughs> I think that excludes hand raising. Put it down. He's trying to copy your jokes. All right, buddy. I can't be responsible for what happens to you if you okay. up again. These people might mutiny, man. They might mutiny. They're funny, you're fine. You Who works in Banbury, everybody? No. no. Hey, what, do you, what do you do in Banbury? You know what I do. <gasps> Jose. Hey. You came Jose. back. Hey, Jose. Man, you guys. This dude, right? This dude, Jose. First of all, he's Mexican. I didn't know they could survive in Britain. <laughs> I didn't know that the, the air was livable. I didn't know. I didn't know that Mexicans su could survive here. I, I, I'm from San Diego, California. I was basically raised by Mexicans. The uh, midwife delivered me in a tortilla. <laughs> You know what a great way, you know what I mean, Jose? I just, I just love seeing you, man. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking miss you, Jose. <laughs> Me encanto. <laughs> what was that in English? Me encanto too. Me encanto too, también. Hey, me encanto not cant. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was not the best line of the night. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Run it on low here. Run it on low. Anyway, Jose. This is, guys, this is the energy we need to bring this into the second half of the show. <laughs> this guy, Jose, was here at 1 p.m. Jose, do you mind me sharing intimate details of our first interaction together? <laughs> Please be. Of course you don't care. Just be kind. That's why I love. Of course I'll be kind. Jose. You get close. You know, it's in my nature, man. Um, I can't help but be kind when I'm talking to you. But that, the girl you were with, she left. <laughs> that other girl, she's a Mexican girl as well. That's what she said. But she said goodbye. What's that? She said goodbye to you. She, she did say Mexican goodbye. House. I am talking to my Mexican friend Jose. Okay? I haven't spoken to him in a while. You want to get him angry? I'm going to tell you right now. Have you ever seen a little movie called Machete? <laughs> Is it like once you think Johnny Westlands is going to do anything about it? <laughs> He's seen enough shit to know you step out when a Mexican's involved. <laughs> There's no like, stopping him. Is it so like, what's the point of trying to make I'm just joking. Uh, I'm joking. Thank you, but we're good. Anyway, man, what have you been doing since I saw you today at 1 p.m.? <laughs> he works in a chocolate factory. You know, the old Banbury chocolate mill. <laughs> the famous Banbury chocolate factory. Sorry, so what are you gonna do, man? Um, went shopping. Oh, you went shopping? Yeah. Cool. Where'd you Where'd you go? Uh, Castle Key. Excuse me. Castle Key. We we'll need that one more time. Castle Key. Castle Key. Yeah. Castle Key. Oh, Castle Key. Yeah. What's that? It's the shopping center. Oh, Castle Key is what you guys call the shopping center. Yeah. That's very fantastical of you. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Castle key. Key like in half a key. Keys are in the back. Oh, key like in what? Half a key. Like in key like a boat. Okay, I rules. How is that spelled different than key as in to my heart? And Jose holds. Q-U-A-Y. Guys, this is uh... <laughs> I don't want you guys to be alarmed. You know how a pilot will warn you there's going to be turbulence? <laughs> I foresaw this low point in the meeting. Are you foreseeing a crash? No. I'm not foreseeing a crash. Okay, just I am thinking we might need to eject a bit of cargo if you don't shut up! <laughs> I'm trying to do a show here! Jose is feeling very tense. Look at his body language. <laughs> Arms folded, bro. What do you think he's got under there? Two razor sharp blades. <laughs> well, don't, don't, don't that that and just when I think it couldn't get any better. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold for Jose. Oh, Castle Key, thank you for saying that though, man. Thank you for backing that up. Are you a, are you a shoreman? No, not at all. No. Are you familiar with the high seas? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't do it like legally though. No, illegally on the high seas. Like pirate. You're illegally on the high seas. Yeah, yeah. 
Atta boy. It's the only way to be on the seats, man. Any dog trip? Forget your rules and regulations. It's between me and the ocean. Like a Hemingway novel. <laughs> Never read it. Nah. Saw the movie. Anybody ever seen the movie, The Old Man in the Sea? No. Yeah. I knew, I knew someone. I knew it was you. Is that why you left the service? <laughs> you can tell me, John. Yeah. You read that book. You said, you know what, man? I bet there's a marlin in my life. <laughs> it's in Banbury. I gotta go get it. I think what, that's what that book's about. What if, what if it's just about fishing? There's no... <laughs> He's like, no, man, I'll just do a book about fishing. What's your favorite book, Jose? Ooh. Uh, besides the Bible? Yes. <laughs> Bible, huh? No, I'll include that. Uh, Favorite book, the Bible. That's what I like about Jose, man. You wouldn't expect to find an about Christian in this room at this hour. <laughs> That's what makes you all the more special as far as I'm concerned. Because if any place needs Jesus, it's right here, my friend. <laughs> to be honest with you, we could have really used you about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> there was all sorts of things breaking out over here, my friends. I'm glad you weren't here, Jose. I wouldn't have wanted you to see that. The harlot is left now. <laughs> Somewhere on the high street. Spilling her filthy fluids. <laughs> that dude's following behind her, cleaning it up. <laughs> Ah, he's tasted blood, guys. That was the wrong <laughs> Some of you guys are going, my God, Russ. Just what fell out of there? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. I've seen some shit, man. But now I guess. Mm-hmm. The Bible, huh? It's great, man. I told you my... I tried to read the Bible. I read the, I tried to read the Bible and the Quran at the same time. Yeah. I had a, a, a version of the Quran that was like updated. It was like kind of like a PC. Because there's a, there's a part in the Quran. I don't want to step on anybody's faith, okay? There's a part in the Quran that says, um, if you're, basically, I'm going to paraphrase. It says if your bitch gets out of line, you can totally smack her, right? <laughs> Guys, I'm paraphrasing, okay? It might not have been in those words. But in the version I read, in parentheses, it said, lightly. <laughs> like it was a recipe. Lightly batter the woman. Just ever so gently slap the lady. Mm. That's a good book. Can't fault the Bible, man. I've never been able to read it all the way through. Good for you, man. Second to that, though, Jose, what do you got? Uh, born Spandino. Interesting. Steve Martin. Yeah. All right. Try not to mention more famous and talented comedians. While I'm up Thank you. <laughs> start talking to Steve Martin. These people are going to start thinking, hey, hang on a second. What else am I missing right now? No, Steve Martin, born standing up. That's good. I'm going to write an autobiography one day. Uh, it'll be all about this experience. Right <laughs> Dude, we're gonna break the world record, man. But then they're gonna try to beat us again. This is never gonna end. I'm gonna come back. I want this to go down. I'm gonna put on my poster, record breaker. I'll take four grand for it. It's been a good run, man. So you live around here, huh, Jose? Yeah. That's great, man. Living over here. Born here? No. <laughs> Jose, I'm going to ask you a question that will not make any sense to you. <laughs> Forgive me if it's a bit odd. Where were you bred? <laughs> Let me see the <laughs> I want to say in a bed. You... <laughs> Power of Jesus, right there. That's what that was. That's what that was. I'll tell you, make a big smile. 
want to say the pen. This, and I'm going to tell you what, that is not the first singer he's come out with today. <laughs> you know it. You had another one earlier in the afternoon. Pumped it out in that accent. Fantastic. You guys should have been there, man. Yeah, man, I'm just thinking about it again. It was a class. Yeah, probably in a bed, Jose. I'll spare you the details. I know you're a man of God. Anybody else, I would have taken that bit a bit further. Made a few dirty comments about your parents, but not you, Jose. Not you, pal. We don't talk about sex in Mexico. You don't talk about sex we in Mexico. It. It's true. It's implied because you guys have 75 kids a family. <laughs> we don't talk about it, but everybody knows. Somebody's doing it. <laughs> Why is it me, man? Okay. <laughs> don't do a Mexican accent. But it's so much fun. You know I was Mexican. Can I do one? Please do. You mean you're giving me permission. I think you'll find very quickly that I actually can't do one. <laughs> but I appreciate the permission. I'll try to find a moment to do it that's appropriate. I've got, I've got your blessing. I could say. Oh, where's that been all night? I've done it about five times now. Really? This is the first snort I've heard from that section. I'm going to snort that whole bottle. Sorry. No problem. Don't apologize. Everybody's free to express themselves in their own individual way. Everybody's free. This is cool now. This is the vibe I kind of wanted. I've cleared the room now. Huh? I've cleared the room? No. Oh, yeah, she's she cleared has. the room. No, she, well, not entirely. There's still plenty of people in here. Good on you, Jose. Good on you, man. How long you lived over here, bud? How long? Yeah. Uh, one year. Oh, one year. Okay. What do you think? Stick around? No. Take it or leave it, huh? I'll tell you what, but I'm getting a train out of here tomorrow afternoon when you see it Go down to London, start a whole new life. I'm telling you, man, you go around town putting out those zingers like you're known for. You take my job, bud. I wouldn't do that. Why would you want to? That's what I'm doing right now. Ah, you're making the right choices. You're doing the right thing with your life, Jose. Your parents are proud wherever they are. Mexico, I assume. Or not. They might be dead. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's not talk about it. The girl, Asgard girl, you stayed the whole time. Who's been here since the beginning of the show? Unprecedented. The bodyguard, you didn't leave. I didn't leave. I changed my mind. Look at that. Nice to know you guys are so liberal with your ships. Man, imagine if Batman had that attitude. Uh, Gotham would be anarchy. I love that. You're the only law enforcement, or closely resembling it, I have seen in this city, by the way. And I passed by a brawl. Nobody was out. And the one officer on shift was like, I might, I might clock in, I might not, you know. I save lives when I want, all right? Nobody tells me when to save lives. This accent doesn't belong in me, Hurry. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Uh, do you prefer uh, security bodyguard? Uh, how about uh, emblem of justice? <laughs> The names Asgard and Odin are taken, otherwise you'd have those immediately. Jose, you think of a name for this guy? You got something biblical? What do you think? Samson. <laughs> Samson. That's you, bro. What's your real name? I bet it's better than all of those. What is it? What is it? Uh, Dale. Dale. It's nice. Uh, so we're going to go with Samson. <laughs> I'm just saying, mate, if I was in a fight and I had a choice between what name to yell out to scare the other people, I'm going to go Samson. Like, yeah? You guys are in deep shit. Dale. Johnny Lush Lips. 
Actually, I would fucking love that. Dale? My gang was comprised of Dale and Johnny Lashlips. And then last but not least, Jose. Jose just comes walking out, cool as you like reading the Bible. How scary would that be? Just this fucking crazy Mexican dude calmly reading the Bible. Okay. You got a bit of an issue here, Jose. You should put down that scripture. Uh, uh, Samson, sir? Dale? Samson Dale. That sounds like the kind of town I play in my dog shit comedy career. Oh, Samson Dale, 80 quid. All right. Bax. Um, let me ask you a question, Dale. Uh, are you uh, trained in uh, several yeah. forms of combat? Yeah. 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 Do that MMA? Why not? Why not? It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Just say it and it'll happen. Just say it and believe it. What's it like here, Dale? I'm not going to lie, man. I, I was telling a story earlier, Dale. I was walking down the high street. It was absolute pandemonium. It was madness, Dale. You ever had to mix it up with these kids? They're, Dale, they're savages. <laughs> Dale. Wow. It's calm. Yeah. It's calm over here in the attic, isn't it? It is calm. Yeah, people don't really know. Because from what I can tell of this alley, most people use it as a latrine. <laughs> um, they don't yeah. appear to know there's any sort of uh, recreation happening inside. <laughs> A lot of guys like to stand, sometimes, side by side. I didn't know that kind of camaraderie existed. Johnny Lush lips, you're probably no stranger to that, right? Get two dudes together in a battalion, probably hold it for each other. That's the kind of camaraderie that they encourage in order to keep you guys together as a brotherhood, right? The buddy-buddy system, that's right. One guy unzips, the other dude pulls it out. Don't even worry about it. Get a little on my hands, don't worry. You need to feel the warmth of another man's urine in order to feel comfortable with him, ready to save his life. Friday, you love it. All right? Dale, we lost Dale. Friday, let's go. All right, Dale, we're there. Friday, let's go. That's what I like about Dale, man. He's always on the watch. <laughs> the thing I like about Dale is he looks like he's not doing anything. But that's to the untrained eye. He's doing everything. He's dressed like he just got back from burglaring a jewelry store. <laughs> but that's so you don't see him coming. Popping up out of dark alleys. Sometimes he waits. And I'm telling you what, man, Dale is a master. <laughs> Sitting in that alley, a couple of dudes come in, he lets him piss all over his face. He doesn't even move, because he's hunting his prey. Eyes still open, stinging. <laughs> you know how much other one this thing? <laughs> Dale stays in it. That's why you only need one cop in this whole town. When you got someone as good as Dale, why would you waste the money on extra manpower? Why would you waste the money on extra manpower when you got Dale? You got Dale, man. That's all you need. One super cop per town. That's what I say. That's how we solve the violence and the gun problem in the United States. There's too many cops. Do you know anyone can just be a cop? What does it take, really? You never thought about being a cop, huh? Cause you guys are, no, you guys are rebels, man. You ain't gonna work for the man. Right? Right? But you can just be a cop. I say one cop per town, but the deal is you have to get like whatever crazy genetic mutation they're growing underground that they're secretly putting in our vegetables. You get all that shot into you on bionic arms and we just have one super cop. That's it. You gotta give your life. You gotta give it over. No, no, I guess, I, guess no, I basically no, just 
propose the plot to Robocop. <laughs> My bad, guys. I just like firing guns in this place. You like firing guns? Dale? <laughs> Have you ever shot a gun? <laughs> what happened? Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, man! Damn! Dale, I'm not gonna abuse that, man. I, I will not abuse that. That's not fair. That's like when you have a dog and you just like start moving his bowl. It's rude. It's, it's not nice to give you a dog. Gun. He's not moving the ball. Everybody in here have a dog? Dude, what's up with this video where a pug is like a Nazi? Guys, is this what I'm missing out on by not having social media? You're just watching pugs be racist? All the animals, man. I haven't Googled it yet. These are the stories I hear. I hear these stories like secondhand. Pugs are racist. All right, I'll check it out later. It has no effect on my actual life right now. Of all the animals, I thought you could turn racist. I wouldn't have suspected a pug. How do you even get a pug to do a Hitler salute anyway? Their arms are like as big as my thumb. Why would you take the time to do that? I'll have to Google it after the show. Weirdly, I lost more people talking about that than when we were. I think at one point we were having a heated debate over whether or not Banbury had a cinema. And yet, people's attention was more locked in than when I brought up an actual story that's affecting our world today. Everyone's like, well, feels like a piss break to me. Yeah. Pugs doing Hitler salutes. Is this how jaded everybody is with the internet? I'm talking about pugs being turned into vessels for the Third Reich. And everybody in there is like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I've seen crazier shit than that in the last hour on my phone. Yeah. That's crazy. There was a girl in the front row, basically gave birth, and some kid came in and cleaned it up. Why am I gonna... She stayed on her phone, had a baby, and that baby crawled out of the venue, went into the night, powered by a full moon, walked right back in, is Dale. The baby was birthed, and vigilant, and awake. You know, I, I tried to be a security guard once. You know that shit, man? That was like a thing. That was an actual Russell Hicks career option at one point. Was I was like, I'll be a security guard. Because I, I thought, and by all accounts I was correct, pretty much just stand around and don't do anything, right? On the off chance, you've got to do something. The actual plan was to become a security guard so that I could let all my skateboard friends go in for, you know, and skate. That was like our big plan, yeah. It was like, I'll become a security guard, and then I'll let you guys all skateboard. Get a security guard's license, get a flashlight. Yep. It was all it was all laid out for me, guys. My whole future. All right. Thanks, man. Anyway, you guys. Really mellowed out here. Really liking this, man. It's a good vibe in the room, though, you know? Really cool. Well, it's, uh... That's nice. That's good. I like... No, no, that's fine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to destroy you. Oh, I really didn't. I feel bad that I did it. It was really nice, man. Everyone was, like, really calm, and you were just having a nap. No, let me tell you something. It was great. It was great. Oh, it was great. Yeah, she was. She was. And you know what? That's more dedication than possibly anybody in this room because she's falling asleep, but she didn't walk out. She didn't go, oh, I'm tired. I should go home and go to bed. She's going to stay in this venue. I'm going to get through this because I started this. Really? Oh, we've just found a guy for being bored. What? We can just find a guy for being bored. Why are you guys so fucking negative to the people in your crew? Blaine and Dave, you being boring? What's your name? Dave, yeah? Are you Dave? Man, I'm not going to lie, you're pretty boring. Right. It's not Dave! I'll try to back you up, man. 
I'm sorry, that's negativity. No, Dave. Is your name Dave? Dave is not boring. Dave is boring. He's sedated. Yes. Well, there's a difference. Exactly. We'll do the whole festival now. He's boring. Let me get another black coffee. That's what we need. I'm going to tell you what I need right now. I need a black coffee. And a water. I need another parable from Jose. Something. What? Something <laughs> kiss us. I'd like a black coffee and a water, please. And if you could put several slices of fruit in that one. I'll see what I've got. Whatever you can. Thank you very much. <laughs> what time is it? Late. Four five past four. Five past four? No. Fifty-five minutes? <laughs> Hurry up with that coffee! We got dead air here! Alright, man. Chappelle can do this. I can do it. I've seen him do this on Netflix. You just sit down and look like you're thinking of something really interesting. Yeah. I should smoke a cigarette. Can I smoke a cigarette if I'm on stage? No. Alright. Okay. Shoot off. God, you guys. We can give me that kind of attitude at Moo Moo's. Oh, yeah, suck it, yeah. Smoke it. I just gave birth. <laughs> had three kids tonight. <laughs> we all had kids. They're out on the high street having a gang fight. Hey. Okay. Back to Moo Moo. You guys are probably wondering how bad does Russell have to piss right now? <laughs> Badly. Do you want to join more? Do you want to drink more or a joint more? Joint. I like the sentiment of what you said. Although it didn't uh, make. It wasn't put together as well as you probably would have liked. <laughs> Do you want a joint more? Uh, would you? Hell yeah. <laughs> Do I want a drink or a joint? No, or joint. No, I don't really have to piss that bad. I don't smoke pot anymore anyway. Uh, wound, uh, you look like you do. I don't look like I do? Oh, I look like I do. I know. I maintain the look to keep up with the street cred, bro. How do you think I'm going to play Banbury? I can't play Banbury coming in looking like a narc. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough I'm always hanging out with Johnny Left Lips. People didn't know how fucking down badass he is. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, that's a Thank you. You. Thank you so much. No, I wouldn't go near that. Bang your head. All right. There's a disaster happening over there. Thank you so much. Dude, for, the, for the staff, you guys. I wonder what ever happened to this girl. She was with us for a fleeting moment, you know? A brief, disinterested moment. You know, as far as she's concerned, she wasn't actually at a gig tonight. See, I kind of like that. In her reality, it didn't actually happen. I'm like a tree falling in the forest. She's now in Dale's cellar. She's in Dale's cellar? Oh my god. Dale's right there. Dale doesn't have a cellar. Probably doesn't even have a house. It's a shame. Dale lives on the streets, he defends. It's cold and nice. I'll tell you what's really... Where'd that guy with the tent end up? Remember that guy from like seven years ago? He left. Hey, did he? He went home? Yeah. He's a good guy, that guy. Here's the other thing. What poor bastard is going on? Like, here's the thing. It's one thing to do a show from 2.30 to 5 o'clock in the morning. Who the fuck's coming in here at 5? That's the guy I really feel bad for. Some poor dude is asleep in his bed right now. He's got to wake up. Fuck. Go to Banbury and do a gig at 5 o'clock in the morning. And dude, by that time, I know you guys are all going to walk out, right? This, I mean, I don't know how many of you are going to stay all the way into the next day. At least 10. <laughs> <laughs> At least 10. I'm sorry. You caught me. The spirits that got me for this. Oh my god, you guys, I 
I was like, I was almost taken over by it. The bullet had reached into my soul. And you, Asgard. <laughs> At least ten, Russ. Ten strong. That was a movie, I think, recently. Did anybody see that? That's one of those ones you see go by you on a bus and you just go, nope. <laughs> Sorry, Hollywood, not happening. I know what you're trying to do there, Hollywood. It's not happening. I love those stories. That movie, look, we should all go see that. Because it looked like one of those movies that, like, didn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, I remember it was like dudes in a mountain with, like, AR-47s, but then, like, horses. Twelve strong. I don't know what kind of market you're going after, but you missed it. I'm going to see 12 Strong. Anybody know what 12 Strong was about? What was it about? I'll tell you what, dude. I'm the one to talk. I went and saw that movie with Andrew Garfield where he's uh, in the war with no gun. Which I don't even know if that actually happened. So I see it all. Did you hear that? Get your ass in that front row. Dude, I don't know if you... Can I just say, I don't know if this section of the room is horribly oppressive or feminist icons of 2018. Because you have got your men in line. Hey, get your ass in that front row. It was wondering... Yeah? Yeah, I won't take the piss out of you, man. I haven't taken the piss out of anybody. I think every interaction in here is, you know, I think every every customer is left fairly satisfied. I think, right, guys? It's about positivity, man. And if I get out of line, Asgard's right there to whip me back in the shade. Don't say it, bro. bro he's probably running down the high street because you said that right now. You can't just go yelling that shit. Poor fucking Dale, man. I didn't say it too loud. Go on. Poor Dale's he's over, he's over at Castle Key right now. He wants to be taking the piss Castle Quay. Off. It doesn't work like that. Please don't, don't, please don't mock my talents. I mean, that, that's what I'm going to be in like 30 years. I'm just bloated. Career's gone south. I just sit on a stage, people walk up to me, and I shit on them. <laughs> hey, you look like you're homeless. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll be playing Castle Castle Key. Castle Quay. I can't. I gotta say it. Castle Quay. That's how, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's how I say it in my head. I know that I say Castle Key out loud, but in my head I go, oh, Castle Quay. So we're gonna Castle Quay and get some items. I can't help it, man. I say it. That's why I say it in my head. I say Castle Quay. Go. You know, go, go, go. That's what I do. <laughs> right? You go to the mall, man. You see a different type of human being, don't you? He moved away from me because he wanted to sketch it out. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the coffee, by the way. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, no, she brought it. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for, thank you for demanding that poor waitress deliver it to me. <laughs> I can only imagine how you said that to me. Hey, get this fucking shit to the front row. Hey, by all days, you should have got it by now. Thank you. No, I got it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Saucy, saucy, People that go to the mall, man. Hey, Asgard. You know, what'd you do today? I can tell you sound knackered, sweetheart. I think you're taking a lot of pressure for this whole ten people in the room thing. That really got to you, didn't it? He's like, we need ten people in the room. You're like, but I've got responsibilities. Oh, I'm... Go ahead, leave then. Get this world record down the toilet. That's what I'm saying. Things to do on Saturday. I'm coming. Hang on. I guess I'll just stay. <laughs> and I'll scream and yell until my voice is completely shattered. <laughs> Can I leave now? It's 2:30 in the morning. No. There's an American guy coming on for two and a half hours. He needs ten people in the room. 
like you're a leader. You walk out of here, the whole thing's going with you. You walk out of here, man. Finally, a little action. Oh, my God. Took us long enough to kick this gig in the third gear. Woo! Oh, I did it. You like that all day? Ah, mira! Getting wild now, Jose. Asgard, take a breather. You relax, sweetheart. You've done so much. You've done, uh, you've done so much being here for 10. You know what's funny, man? I'm recording this, right? But I just realized it's just going to be two and a half hours of that table arguing with each other. I was going to put this out as a podcast, but people are going to put it in their ears and be like, the whole left side is just them arguing. Ironically, the only person that's going to be able to enjoy it is the fucking deaf girl that was sitting there. It's, it's going to cancel that part out. She's going to be like, oh, all I hear is the comic talking. Your sick little plan worked. The last deaf joke, guys. <laughs> Boy, it really does take a, takes a toll on your voice, doesn't it? You think about doing a show? Oh my god, you guys, guys, we're getting close to 10. What's going on here? We're losing people. Oh, we got another one. All right, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. Round of applause. She's coming in, guys. Come on. Make everybody feel welcome. Breaking world records. So, Asgard, do you mind me just keep calling you that? That's fine. You're very agreeable. I like that. So you, what you do? What you do? Today? You've been here all day, huh? Uh, back and forth. Back and I was forth. I was thinking, my friend George, that you know from this. Um, I throw my tears in your mouth a while back. My tears to George. Hey, man, George from Bister. Guys, we got people from Bister in here. This thing's going global. I'm sorry to have done the you Oh my God. I'm so, let me unpack that. I'm so, you are truly amazing. I am. You know the worst thing? I'm picking up this shit. What shit? Oh my God. We could have used that earlier, mate. I don't think that guy would have had to go back for so many towels. <laughs> and he had that kind of absorption on his side. Don't worry. Guys, isn't it amazing how everything ties in together? <laughs> this woman gives birth, that guy finds a maxi pad on the ground. It's a Christmas miracle. Jesus would have loved it, Jose. This is the kind of thing he was into, everything coming together. Well, what happened? Did she came out of the seat? Basically, that guy fell down, and then she said, I'm sorry, but you did deserve that. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if a better example of domestic violence exists. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you did deserve that. I don't think I've ever said anything like that to somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you did deserve that. I wish I could be that badass. Cause physical damage to somebody. And then apologize to them while at the exact same time affirming how much they deserved it. <laughs> Maybe you did. I don't know you guys. Maybe they did deserve it. <laughs> Touch Castle Quays open up. You gotta get a cigarette, but you gotta go. Hey man, thanks for coming out. As my sensei, everybody. Come on, here. Thanks, man. Thanks for hanging out. She's still here, been here the whole time. OG. Sensei's out. Truly are landing this ship now. Continue my conversation with Asgard. I can only hope that section of the room can refrain from beating their partners for the remaining time. Knocked him on his ass. <laughs> threw a maxi pad at him. <laughs> Suck on that Weinstein. That's how far women have come. <laughs> Feminism is alive and well in band, baby. If I'm honest, it's a little too vibrant. <laughs> I think it's a, yeah, I think it's running rampant. <laughs> Sorry, but you 
didn't deserve that. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> God, man, this is just insane what's going on over there. <coughs> Anybody see the Florida Project? See that movie? Oh, it is good, sir. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Get over there, check it out. What's your favorite movie, uh, Castle Queens? <laughs> that is a tough one. That's a tough one, man. Just give me a movie you really like. Machinist. Oh, yeah, with Christian Bale. No, no, is that Christian Bale? Yeah. He lost all that weight, yeah? Got real skinny for that. Yeah, that's a weird movie, man. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's a bit of a downer, isn't it, that movie? That's your favorite movie? <laughs> like, you, you, so, I'm not, I'm not judging you, but I'm saying you go home, have a good time. Time to unwind, man. Time to get some kicks. Let's pop in that movie about the dude who had such severe trauma and he became an insomniac with an eating disorder. <laughs> What was going on in your mind? Was it between that and Schindler's List? <laughs> I've never seen Sophie's Choice. Well, yeah, because when is it a good time to watch it? You already know what it's about, so you're never like, oh, hey, I feel like I could really get into some Sophie's Choice right now. No, you're never like, yeah, let's watch that. I don't even like talking about it right now. Who's that, Shriek, Meryl Streep? Can I say something? I never really understood it with Meryl Streep. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I just pretended that I also thought she was the best actress in the world. <laughs> and it's nothing against women, I just, I don't think I ever actually believed it. It's weird what you just accept, isn't it? You're like, oh man, remember when that movie came out, I was like, Streep, X. That's how they were promoting it. I was like, oh yeah. Fucking street facts. But in reality, you know. What are you talking about? Oh, The Post. The movie The Post, is that what you said? No. Oh, what were you talking about back there? Mama Major. <laughs> <laughs> the film, or are you making an explanation? Or are you just saying Mama Mia? <laughs> the Italian side of you just came out. Mama Mia. <laughs> two, and a, two and a quarter hours, Mama Mia. I never saw Mamma Mia. Oh, it's so good. You, you should. Is it? I think I should. Meryl's a very good singer. What? Meryl's a very good singer. Oh, was Meryl and Mamma Mia? You think that'll turn my whole viewpoint around? <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think you're right. Matter of fact, I, I, feel, I feel silly. Or you can already tell. Do you, what's your favorite ABBA song? Yes, the gig has reached the point I'm asking people what their favorite ABBA songs are. Okay, I can read all your thoughts. Did he just ask someone what their favorite ABBA song is? Yes! I did! How's they might not be familiar? Waterloo. What? Waterloo. Waterloo. Honey, honey. Now we're getting into it, guys. See? It's fun once you start doing it. Uh, let's get personal, guys. Um, does anyone have any questions for me? Let's do a Q&A. Yes? Where are you from? All right. <laughs> you mean, Where are you born and bred? Thank you. Fuck, I was going to say that. <laughs> you saw it in my eyes. That's how easy my cop... You guys have spent so much time with me, you've completely been able to work out my technique. You're like, oh, I get it. Yeah, he just calls back things. Watch this. I bet he's going to say born and bred. Watch, I'll do it. Yeah, born and bred. Yeah, see, that's it. It's all he does. He just, he goes, remember that, and then we all that. That's a fucking sham, honestly. If you watch him long enough, you start to feel ripped off. I can't wait till he's off stage. I'm going to Castle Quakes. <laughs> We could have watched, we could have watched Mamma Mia twice. In the time we've been sitting here watching this shit. He's talking about Streep. He hasn't seen her. He hasn't seen her sing Waterloo. 
you know, a whole different tune, my friend. <laughs> California. Sweet. Anyone else? <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, Jose, come on, this is gonna be good. Play this fucking. When guy. did you start a comedy? <laughs> when did I start comedy? All right, the gig has reached its lowest point. <laughs> When you start talking about comedy during the comedy, you've reached a metaphysical, a vortex. I can't even, we can't go down that road, Jose. Okay? You want to know about comedy, read porn standing up. Again, in Spanish. ¿Cuál es tu chocolate favorito? How fucking dare you? I'm not even going to translate that, okay? You and I all have words after the show, my friend. You got the nerve to ask me, Qualas, to Durango? Qualas, to Chipotle, how dare you? Um, no. Anyway, man, forget it. You want to be a comedian, I can tell him, isn't it? You want to do it? Get into it, man. This that chocolate factory shit. He works at a chocolate factory. What's that? It is muy chistoso. Yeah, that's for you, I guess. What are you doing, Jose? You just calling your buds now? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fucking lowrider pulls up out front like, hey, what was, what was it like? All right, stereotypes. <laughs> a lowrider, yeah. Well, that's all I can think of. What would have been more appropriate? It was either that or they all pull up on donkeys, Jose. It wasn't any better. I do have a lowrider, so... You do have a lowrider? In Mexico. For, in Mexico? That's kind of the equivalent of saying you have a girlfriend who lives in Canada, but all right. <laughs> you got a lowrider, man? Actually. Does it do the hydraulics and all that? Yeah. Do you actually have a girlfriend who lives in Canada as well? No. <laughs> Don't push your luck, huh? <laughs> nice, man. Lowrider. Got hydraulics and all that stuff. Uh oh. What fell down over there? Wait, never mind. Don't worry about it. I don't know why I was just starting that up again. I thought, oh, hey, you guys quiet? What do you say we get the band back together for good old times' sake? Ah, it's been at least five minutes since you dropped your boyfriend to the ground. Three. He had in his eyes and then told him he deserved it because he's a cut. Come on, guys. Where you been, man? Where you been? Talking to Jose about lowriders that don't exist. I think it's about time you swept the legs of the one nearest to you, let him face plant into the ground, and then tell him he deserved it for being alive. Solid, man. Where are you from? Yeah. Oh, sure. Glasgow. Oh, I like that place. I do like Glasgow. I like it a lot. Yeah. Hit and miss. It's hit and miss. Is that a... Yeah, I guess... You might get stabbed, but you might be alright. Yeah. Those are great odds. Can't beat that, guys. Can't beat those odds, man. I like that. Might get stabbed. You might be alright. <laughs> One of those situations was a little bit more definite than the other, you know? <laughs> Getting stabbed is pretty like, and then just be all right. That kind of assumes you, like, be all right means you might also get stabbed as well. You'll just be all right. I feel like, in, you know what I mean? It wasn't like, you might get stabbed, or you might definitely not get stabbed and have a great day. It's like, you might get stabbed, or you might get stabbed and also survive. <laughs> You're getting stabbed. <laughs> are you ready, all right? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Come on. That's what we're living in now. Don't get much better than that. Worst things that happen to you on the way to Castle Coots. <laughs> What's the time? 25 past four. 25 past four. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Well, that hasn't been helping the momentum of the gig. <laughs> you guys have been staring at a clock <laughs> like it's the last day of school and we're all going to summer break. <laughs> Jesus, man! <laughs> Fucking A! We need a bigger clock! <laughs> 
the kind of thing I imagine is prominently placed at the top of some <laughs> castle quiz, like over there. So you guys are just staring at the clock. And look at this, one of those... That's some proper, like, Hill Valley, save the clock tower, 88 miles per hour shit happening right up there. You guys are just staring at that. Everybody in here knew exactly what time it is. Meanwhile, I've been in the dark. So even when the gig was just flying by, you guys still had one eye on exactly what was. So meanwhile, I'm like, oh man, it's just we're we're going through, we're going warp speed now, man. I'm on solo, Chewbacca in the passenger seat. We got the going. And you guys are like, you know exactly what time it is. We've had our eye on the clock the entire time, this. and now I've got my eye on it, and I think it's actually sort of moving slower. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to break the world record of the longest comedy show ever. It's gonna be really tough, and it's gonna mean that people are gonna to have to sit and focus and just block out all concepts of what's happening in the outside world. What do you think we need? Microphone, mic stand, oh, a giant clock. <laughs> that symbolizes exactly what everybody's missing out on in the rest of the world. Now it's a good clock. Oh, there's a sign underneath. This is important. For the record, to stand, we need a minimum of 10 people awake. Oh, you didn't even count for half of it. <laughs> Shit. I apologize. It turns out that for a good portion of the show, you were absolute dead wood. <laughs> but you're back now. You have to be awake for it to count. That's kind of... I wish I would have known that going in, man. <laughs> it was there. Why do you have to be awake? Who's making these arbitrary rules, man? It says there, awake in brackets, I'm awake. Yeah, no, I know, you're up now. <laughs> you're in the game now. To be honest, you, you know, you, we, did, we had enough people, but when you need to leave for whatever reason, please make sure there is 10 still in the You know, after a while, you gotta start asking yourself, what the fuck do I get out of this, okay, bud? <laughs> Sorry, I'm all for breaking the record, but this guy's making a lot of demands on you people. And oh, you better not leave the room. What? What are you gonna do? Cut me a check or something? Asgard here's been here for days. <laughs> Poor girl's losing her mind. She's reciting Mamma Mia lyrics. She's going delirious. Friend from Glasgow who's barely making any sense. He might get stabbed. He might get stabbed twice. I don't know. It's good. Gonna make a lot of demands, I think. Oh, host hostage situation. What well, I didn't make it any better. <laughs> it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you got trapped by the murderer and he made little cute jokes about it, who changed about you kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hostage situation. Yeah, I'm still a hostage. <laughs> doesn't make me feel any better that you've addressed it in your cute little winky wink way. I don't know why I'm partaking in this disgusting display. <laughs> Guys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, man. I'm losing faith in the whole contest. This guy's out of control. What's he gonna do with the award? What's he gonna do, man? Is there, is there prize money? Oh, there's prize money, is there? No. No, there's not. Okay. All right, there's no prize money, guys. Just cost. There's no prize. What's that, Jose? You just motioned for me to come over. I'm not sure you're aware of what's actually happening right now, Jose. I'm losing my mind as well. You're losing <laughs> Guys, Jose's losing his mind. What's next? His faith? <laughs> this game's gone out of control. Jose's going to be worshiping the devil by the end of it. I can't have this, you guys. I'm going to be like, Jose, I'm going to be following. This is your favorite book, Jose. He's going to be shirtless with a pentagram on his chest like, I don't know that book, man. <laughs> Like listening to Marilyn Manson. Or whatever the kids are into. Who's the new satanic emblem of? Just a Spongebob. <laughs> yeah, that's clever, man. I knew the Antichrist would come in in a tricky way. He's a beaver. He's a... I had a water, right? Oh, yeah. By the way, somebody, when I said who's the devil, said Spongebob. Spongebob. <laughs> I'm glad you're awake. <laughs> that power nap really did you some good, man. Yeah. I like the way you recharge. You're like really awake now. You're not just like, okay, I'm up, I can do this. You're like, I'm fucking, I got another three days. Let's go. I've got this. 
ready to go. Stay till the end. Oh, Asgard is left. <laughs> leaving. Are you leaving? I'll come back. Okay, you don't sit. No, you don't have to. You're free. <laughs> if you choose to come back, we welcome you with open arms. Okay. Don't feel obligated. But you better fucking get back here. <laughs> you better get back from bro. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, it's a good thing. I can't believe you guys are still here. I can't believe I'm still here. I am such an arrogant egomaniac. Just the idea that I was like, I'll do two and a half hours. Huh? No, you can't do that. Tell me. That's probably true, but I still need to know. Thinking out loud, sweetie. Thinking out loud. All right. I suppose that's what I've been doing for the last two and a half hours. It's only fair that you should get to join in. Why should I be the only one that gets to think out loud? Everyone in here, think out loud. Enjoy yourselves. Hey, Mr. Man. Yeah, bud. What's going on with you, man? What have you been doing? Outside of this. Slept and did this. Slept and did this. Huh? You prepared. We slept all day, so we got up all night. Well, you did that for me. Because you knew you had to be awake. You knew you had to be awake for this. Can't have people just sleeping through it. Freeloaders. If you see anybody in the back. Trying to get some rest. Do me a favor, you jab them hard in the ribs. <laughs> Wake them up, man. We can't have any freeloaders in here, alright? We're not running some kind of halfway house. Need you people to mean it. You would have thought in two and a half hours I would have taken the time to maybe work on some material. <laughs> like, I, I was just thinking because like, I watched these like four James Acaster specials on Netflix. And I mean, I just wanted to, uh, so good, right? I was just thinking, what would he have done with his time? <laughs> He'd have probably worked out another four hours in Netflix. In the time I've been on stage, James A. Caster would have written and had produced another Netflix special. <laughs> he would have like written it, recorded it, and it would be on Netflix and got reviewed five stars before he got off. But what did I do? I mean, in a way, I did so much more. I did more for Banbury. Put Banbury on the map. We eat together are putting Banbury on the map. Yes. We'll make a movie of this one day. You ever think about that? You made a movie of your life? Who do you think would play me? Assuming they would make a movie of it. That's what I was thinking. Were you? Great. Guy with the most fucked up nose I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry. No offense to Owen, but what's going on, mate? Come on, after your first two movies, okay. But, like, dude, you got a bit of scratch now. Sort it out. You think it's cute? I gotta watch this thing. I got people, I got people saying, hey, you know who you remind me of? Who? Steve Martin? George Carlin? James A. Castle? No. The dude from Marley and Me. <laughs> Which one? Please sit the dog. <laughs> Old crooked nose. Nah, he's a good guy. Tried to kill himself, so. Bit of a downer, really. <laughs> Tried to kill himself, man. People in Hollywood have it tough, you guys. It's not easy being that rich and famous. It's tough, man. You gotta make a lot of choices. What are you gonna buy that day? <laughs> No, I'm sure it's tough. That's why I've done everything I can to avoid fame at all costs. <laughs> me too. Me too. Exactly. You and me both. We could have had it all. But I, I, I've done... Sometimes I think subconsciously I am doing that. You know? Because I like to be off the grid. I like, I like my peace. Like, I'm enjoying this now. Look who's back, man. Bro, I like it. You went out there, you picked yourself up by your bootstraps. You've come in with a new energy and a new confidence. New year, new year. Two. Two new energies. That's right, man. 
You deserve it. Can you serve booze all night in well, England? Yeah. Clearly. No, no, no. Clearly, man. Do, do, do you want some? Yeah. I don't drink. Uh, That's why I thought coffee. I know. I like that you sounded genuinely upset for me there. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, man. That's the saddest news I've heard all night. <laughs> and you, and you, from what I've seen in the last two and a half hours, have had Wait, the hardest don't, life don't of anybody in here. What? Don't stroke me with this shit. That was not the don't stroke you with this shit. Yeah, no. Don't pet you. Yeah, don't tie them out with the same brush. Is what I'm saying. I'm sure. I'm sure somewhere in there was an actual phrase. I don't think that was a phrase, but I'll accept it. Anyway, don't tar me with the same brush. Two men in a bush. Hey, hey man. You know, in the end of the day, don't stroke me. Oh my God, you get rescued. <laughs> All right, what is this? Mark Rowe is next. Oh, is this for me? No, 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 no. Fucking hell, man. Who's next? Who's on it? Who's on at the end of the night? Oh, right, come on, stop. Hey, bro, are you getting coffees? I don't want one, but have you been drinking coffee as well? You've been keeping it. You've been getting up and drinking coffees, yeah? It's nice, man. Keeping awake. Good for this guy. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's more than ten, it's great. We got more than ten. We well, never know with this one. She's a wild card. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I can't handle that. We got ten in the narcoleptic. I'm not comfortable. Right? I can't trust this one. She's a what? Yeah, got more than ten. It's like bipolar or something. One minute she's fucking out like a light, and then she pops up like she just did a bump of coke or something. She's like, I'm up, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, never mind. <laughs> and according to the almighty, the almighty dictator, we got one person up. Alright, I'm getting excited again. Let's get the energy back up. This went a lot better than I thought it was. Because when I came in here, I was like, oh my god, this bar is full of all the people that were out on the street. No. But it wasn't. It's not. It's not. I know no, that. It's not. By the way, good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. I thought you went out again. Hey. Mate. I'll never be too sure with you. You're in Banbury. Go dark. It's dirty time in the morning. Just go, just go Excuse dark. Excuse me. All right, man. What? I trust you. It doesn't sound like what you just said was very popular with this section of the room. Yeah, but it But then again, most of what you have said seems to be shut down summarily by this section of the room. Exactly. I can only assume what you just said was somehow positive about yourself and they were against it. <laughs> that sounded like confidence coming out of you. Shut your fucking mouth. Huh? Want another maxi pad? This is what I'm saying. Want another tampon in the face? Oh, we lost that guy in the back with the suit. We're talking about Castle Quays. Uh, we lost Castle Quays guy. Alright, let's get that again. You know what's amazing, man? Is there have been points of the show where I have, like, stopped talking a little bit? But really, you guys have been the indefatigable energy of the night. Because there's been moments where I've been, like, just sitting here, but then you've just kept talking. You've actually talked more than I have all night. And I applaud you for that. I mean, as much as I applaud everybody in here for being, I mean, J Johnny, Jesus Christ, man. You just sit through the whole day? At this point, it's just become, what are you guys talking about? You talking about food? I'll be honest with you, at this point of the show, this could be something. I don't know if you guys have been tuned into the last 20 minutes. Not the highlight of the... What? He wants to go because he wants to get food. He wants to go because he wants to get food. I, I want to stay here. Oh, what's wrong with you? He's hungry. Dominoes. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You want dominoes. Dominoes. This guy's got food right there. I don't think he. I don't think he's holding that up to share so much as glue. <laughs> and I respect that. He's just going. Oh, you want a bit of that? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be good. You're not sharing that food, are you? <laughs> Quick, grab that food. Jose will turn it into enough to feed us all. <laughs> Jose, if you could call on the call on your powers. What do you got? What are you eating, man? Okay, hang on. Hey, why don't you tell us what you got, your worst gig was? What was so, your worst gig? I'll give it some time. It could be this one. <laughs> 
how that little wind's at, mate. This shit can go south real quick. <laughs> what do you mean, could go south? <laughs> well, basically, you remember when your girlfriend kicked your chair out earlier? And you, that could happen to me, comedically. <laughs> Many times, mate, I've been like you. I've gone to a comedy show and gone, oh, I'm just going to enjoy myself. Oh, my God, you guys had to take these tonight. Thanks so much. Where are you going? Where are you going to eat? For McDonald's. <laughs> Leaving me for McDonald's. Food comes first. You gotta eat, man. I don't want them back in this venue. <laughs> Leaving me for McDonald's. McDonald's? Come on, man. Is McDonald's even open right now? No, they're gonna get it's higher 24 than the hour. Corner, 24 hour McDonald's? They're so irresponsible. <laughs> McDonald's needs to have a bit of decency, right? You need to shut those doors, McDonald's. You know damn well people will go in there all night if you allow it to. You just keep it open. What do you got, bud? Okay, so go. All right, here we go. All right, good. He's got multiple items. We only got 15 more minutes, man. Okay, so I got crepes. Got there. Pancakes, chocolate, no? Okay, are you going to be an asshole about it? <laughs> okay. Is every item that comes out of there going to be an opportunity for you to test my worldly knowledge? I've got crepes. They're French. Are you familiar with that continent? <laughs> it's not a continent. Great. France isn't a continent. Country. Yes, I know what a crepe is. Can I just say about the crepe? I don't understand its purpose. Oh. Good. But I don't understand, is it breakfast? Is it dessert? Is it a bit of both? I don't see I don't see it having any nutritional value. How long have you been here? Both. Wait, how long have you been here? Hold on man, we're talking about what this guy's got. No nutritional value. Hey, this guy brought some food. Hey, take it easy man, I got 15 minutes, alright? I was able to squeeze 60 seconds out of crepes. Don't just go rushing it now. I've got some hobnob biscuits. <laughs> Alright, hold on a second. This is a very interesting meal you've put together. I don't quite understand. Are you familiar with the four basic food groups? I've gone for sugar related things for the night. That's what I've gone for. That's what you've gone to get you through. Sugar, 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 chocolate. Right, so you have crepes. So you got some crepes. Cereal bars? What kind of cereal bars? Uh, Nutri-Gain? Nutri <laughs> These ones? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Welcome to the party, man. You dudes have been on a journey tonight. <laughs> Take it easy, man. You guys are in a safe place now. You guys have been, it's been wild. Were you out on the high street? Were you in that Mick? Were you in that Ralph? You know what I'm talking about? What is it you? You weren't in it. All right, that's cool, man. You don't have to admit it here. To be honest, there's only one cop in town, and he appears to have fucked off. Yeah. He's right there. Hey. He's right there. Remember in Mortal Kombat when you hit somebody the right way and they pop out of the corner like this? That's Dale. I was always wondering, who is that guy? Now I know. Security guard of the band very attic. <laughs> what was he saying? I never knew what he said. Was it whoopsie? I thought it was whoopsie. I heard it was toasty. It drove me crazy. There was no reason for it. Fuck those people that made that game. There was no answer to that. Right? It's toasty. <laughs> yes, Marco. Okay, but like, but what? But whatever happened, you know? That was it. You're playing a game, you're just enjoying yourself, you're alone. I bet most people in the... I thought I was schizophrenic for most of my youth. I'm like, fucking hey, did anybody just see that? <laughs> Is it just needed a dude, just a, a, a man, <laughs> pop out of the corner of my TV screen when I'm playing Mortal ah. Kombat? Say toasty. I'll better what play it again, see what happens. <laughs> what do you want from me? What do I do? People would say you push start, That's something will happen, nothing ever happened. That is crazy how 
Irresponsible. <laughs> Making a game. I don't know how that got past the gaming commission. No, I'm not sure why. All right, so you got crepes. <laughs> yeah. You got what now? Neutral grain. All right. Cool. Watch, watch your weight there. You gotta get some fruit. Hobnobs. Hobnobs. You put a lot of stock in sugar, man. You really believe in the power of sugar. That's it. That's it. Hobnobs, neutral grains, crepes. And that, that, that's it. Have you eaten any yet? No. <laughs> it just comforts you to have them. This is English. You don't actually ingest the sugar. Just the idea that you could. Yeah, exactly. Fuels you enough. Maybe it's six o'clock or seven o'clock. Get back here. You know, start munching. Six or seven o'clock, man. What time is it now? What? What kind of question is that? <laughs> what time is it? There couldn't be a bigger... Yes, I could, but it's 10 to 5. There could be, that's a good point. There could be a bigger clock. Than that, but it'd be obscene. It'd be obscene. We've been here for two and a half hours. Been here for two and a half hours, man. Well, almost two and a half hours. we got about 10 more minutes before it's been two and a half hours. The gig is, I mean, we've gone... I don't think there's really any realm of human knowledge that we haven't touched upon in this two and a half hours. We've gone the whole gamut. We talked about John's military career, which we never quite got to the end of. We never quite got to the bottom of what makes John tick. We're going to get deep on him. We're going to get deep on him, yeah. And then the audience decided to rape me. You, you touched John, you touched John. How'd the gig go, Russ? I did two and a half hours of comedy, and then they all held me down, and one after another had their way with me. Which one hurt the worst? Probably Jose. I didn't see that coming from Jose. I'll never forget, he looked into my eyes and very forlornly just whispered, Lo siento. Bro, go dirty, man. Starts talking some dirty shit. How much more dirty can I get than being raped by the entire room? How much more dirty could I possibly get than that? Watch this. Watch this? You're about to do something physical? Physical comedy? I don't know how you're going to do anything funnier than when you ate shit earlier, man. That was pretty much the pratfall to end all pratfalls. I didn't even get to see it, man. I totally missed it. I'm not going to lie to you, you might have to bust out those crepes pretty soon. No, no, they're all mine. Huh? They're all mine. <laughs> crepes. They're a real piece of work, you know that? You're going to eat crepes, Nutri-Grain bars, and a whole box of hop knobs? You can have a Nutri-Grain. I don't need a Nutri-Grain, man. That's a hop knobs, Mom. Fuck. No. Oh, fuck off. Look at you, you can eat it. <laughs> Damn. Dude's playing for keeps. <laughs> oh, see? That could be you, man. That's all you gotta do. Try it once in a while. You've taken a real beating tonight. All you gotta do, look him in the eye, grab yourself a pack of hobnobs, and the fuck off. Man. We have seen you absolutely beat up and down, dude. You're a good... She's even admitting it. Yeah. Nah, but you're a good guy, man. You hung in there. The lip reader, she, I don't know what I don't know how she got away. <laughs> how the fuck that happened? I thought I would've... I don't know. I thought she would've made a bigger exit. <laughs> Get out of here. She's gone. we lost a lot of good people. <laughs> Haven't we, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> You know, Johnny, I knew going into this we wouldn't all make it out of here. <laughs> a lot of good men have fallen. A lot of men I didn't really care for. But, but that's what happens when you're trying to do something great, huh, John? You gotta count on casualties. Kind of a bummer to find out halfway through the war, one of your 
soldiers has been sandbagging various treats. <laughs> We're all starving. <laughs> we our last session. Some of us even stooped to licking up what was ever on the floor over here. <laughs> Just to get the protein. <laughs> And what happens two hours and 50 minutes in? Hey, I got some hobnobs. <laughs> and since that isn't even enough, I've got some crepes and a couple of Nutri-Grain bars. I had Jose wrap them all up in a nice, sweet burrito. <laughs> you missed the McVitie bar. The McVitie bar. We didn't have a McVitie bar at all. The McVitie bar. Yeah, neutral, but it's Oh, yeah? Well, we are now discussing <laughs> different brands of breakfast bars. <laughs> Nick Vinnie Bar. Huh? So I think Nick Vinnie is McVitie. Guys, the gig is one step away from me sitting on that stool and having a wink. <laughs> no, I can't do that, man. I can't do that. Why not? Alright, who else we got? Sir, you've been here as well. You've been here for quite a long time. Sir? Okay, I don't think that guy counts, but... <laughs> Sir? It's alright. I apologize. Sorry, I'm deaf. I'm just number 10. Oh, man, we got two of them then. <laughs> I apologize. I was just saying thank you. What I'm doing now that it's the end of the show, I'm basically handing out awards. And I am just commemorating you for your service, sir. Because I happen to notice you have actually been here from the beginning of the night. Give it up for this guy, you guys. I didn't even see him. You know what's fucked up about that clock? When you look at it from here, it looks like it's further along. <laughs> it's really despairing, and then you just go, oh, okay, cool. It's like time traveling. You have five minutes. Yeah, I know. I thought I had one. And I just went, oh, okay. That's how easy it is, man. That's time travel. There's a little loophole in your theory, Einstein. All right, let's talk to the rest of the people in the room, man. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Start the clock, I should be able to get 30 seconds. Easy out of this. You're wearing pajamas. Yes. Are you prepared for the evening? I am. That's good, you're probably the kind of guy that goes on flights and wears sweatpants, yeah? I have sweatpants on. You have sweatpants and pajamas on. And a bathroom. You're wearing a bathroom. <laughs> Come up here, I gotta get away from this. This guy's wearing a bathroom. Wow, you really came. You knew what you were in for tonight. Sweatpants and a bathrobe. And Thomas. But also, smart casual. <laughs> What's in the pockets, man? Hobnobs? Holes in the pockets. Is that your actual robe that you wear? You really did sleep all day in preparation for this, didn't you? Yeah, man. What are you wearing? Crepes? Crepes come for a cigarette. Oh, Oh! Need a little smoke after his feast! This fucking guy's a real piece of work, you know that? Everybody in here is starving, desperate to get out of here. Was that just you? Not me. Oh. Ride or die. I'll be up here all night. Who, who said that? Who are you? Have you been in here all night? Have a seat, man. Guys, give it up for the, give it up for the big Lebowski. <laughs> Who came in here in the last five minutes of my show? Tried to mute me. Oh, is the girls been bringing me coffee? Yeah. All right, sustained. <laughs> the judge lets that heckle stand. This girl has fueled me all night. You are the reason then I'm probably gonna piss myself in about 30 seconds. <laughs> I can't really think of a better way to end the show than me just pissing my pants up here. <laughs> I can't believe that guy. That would be good fun. That would be good fun, man. 
It would be a lot of fun. I can't believe that guy. He sits in there, he eats his hobnobs, and he goes out and smokes a cigarette. He knows what time it is. He thinks he's going to get back here and beat the clock. I got half a mind to end the show before he gets back. <laughs> he would be so sad because he loves me. <laughs> Came here in a bathrobe. <laughs> brought his mate in the bathrobe, right? Brought his hobnobs. Guy worships me. <laughs> yes, mate. Before I go, can I get your raw? Hilarious. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Mate, I'll, I'll urinate it on anything you have. <laughs> have you? Oh, yeah, there's me like. All right, then. Lamp lamppost time. My signing autographs in the middle of the show? Have you got a pen on you? I don't have a pen on you. I'll go and get a pen. Okay, yeah. I would, I would say in the future, if you ever ask someone to sign something, come prepared. I don't do a lot of autographs, but I'm just saying, like, at least I have a pen on you, for God's sakes. You can ask me for my autograph. Don't make me, you know, all of a sudden I gotta look for the nearest supply store. Yeah, shush, you guys. I'm trying to take this thing all the way to the end. I really, I really feel for the... There you go. I've got a pen and piece of paper. Thanks, man. You know what? All right, great. I'll sign my name for you. Yeah, proper one. All right, let me, what's your name? Uh, the Nottingham Cunt, remember? <laughs> Are you the Nottingham Cunt? I am. Oh, man. Good lad. Good lad. We didn't know what, what, didn't know what happened to you. Right. We didn't know what happened to you. Oh, what's your name? It's Sean. Okay, Sean. Sean. Uh, keep your standards for heroes low. <laughs> I feel privileged. Who is I'm going to say Sean it's Russell. And um, you are not a cunt. <laughs> yes! There you go, my friends. Hey, yeah. 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 that on your wall and don't you forget it, my friends. Don't worry, I'll never forget this night. <laughs> I have a feeling you will. <laughs> but it's not your fault, mate. It's... No, 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 just, just an item come from my boss. All right. See you, bud. Nice Take it easy, make... man. Please help me remember. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Time, please. Time, is it? Zero five hundred hours. Oh, five hundred hours! <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant Johnny Crosslips. <laughs> well, we did it, guys. It's fucking easy. <laughs> it was fucking easy, man. I can do another ten. Do it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. On course. On course. That's assuming that what I've just done was some sort of production. <laughs> oh, we saw the greatest show the other night. It's amazing. Describe it to me. Oh, it's two and a half hours, okay? No break. And also, and this is a bit different, you're not allowed to leave the theater. They actually force you to be in there against your will. It sort of adds to the experience. The man on stage just sort of goes on and talks seemingly endlessly and oftentimes leading to nothing. <laughs> this sounds amazing. Where can I see it? Okay, you know Castle Quays? It's, I don't mean to be a, it's pronounced keys. Yeah, whatever. It's right near there. You know that alleyway that everybody from Moo Moo uses to piss and shit on each other? Yes. Yes. Yes, I know that alleyway. Now I know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay, well, believe it or not, that's not actually a public toilet for Banbury. In one of the walls, hidden, quite honestly, is a door that leads uh, to, to a, I, I guess it counts as a bar. I guess it's a bar. And uh, within those walls, this man did this show, and it was just consisted of him speaking, for hours on end, various people come in and out of the room, different energies change, people get kicked to the floor and told they deserve it. When 
lion came in and gave birth to life. And nobody batted an eyelash. The staff just came in and cleaned it up, took it into the high street, raised it, and it became the sole member of Banbury's police force. Military veterans are welcome and respected as they should be. Coffee is drunk, people sleep. <laughs> Mamma Mia is celebrating three quarters in the production. There was one guy just eating hobnobs. He was an asshole. No, no, no. That, that I'm going to say was a town. That guy I did not care for. Went out for a cigarette. Don't know if he ever returned, quite honestly. <laughs> Kind of odd behavior for someone who claims to be the biggest fan of the night. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pass that over to the guy in the bathroom, all right? He deserved it. That sounds like an amazing show. I mean, but that, but how, did, how did it end? Well, he stared into the audience. He looked out over them. He looked at his favorite one. <laughs> and with his last breath of the night, told the audience, Gracias. <laughs> y adios. show. <laughs> Happening right now. If anybody needs me, I'll be staying in the haunted hotel next to the Odeon. <laughs> Ruminating on what exactly I've just done here. <laughs> Praising myself. Yay. Probably enjoying half a bag of hobnobs <laughs> that my big fan gave to me because he loved me so much. Here you go, man. Hey, nice of you to come back, pal. <laughs> Guess what? I did a crescendo that would have knocked your fucking crepes off. <laughs> oh, man. I don't mean to toot my own horn. I was doing like, the whole meta thing. I was like pretending she was talking to somebody about the show, but you would know about it because you were out there smoking a cigarette. And you know what? I hope that's the one that tips you over and gives you that box of ah, I hope that black in your lungs just one more bit. <laughs> If you get cancer, Jose will heal you. I'm glad you're back, man. Thank you. Yeah, sure, take that. <laughs> Holy shit! Look who's back! Well, I can't think of a better time for me to get out of here, guys. I, 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 uh, <laughs> right. Who's next? Victor. Is he here? No, 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 no. <laughs> you? No, Victor. Victor. Me, I can't wear the shirt. Victor. You all set, bud? Guys, Johnny. Uh, I just want to say for me, you guys, thank you for hanging with me, man. That was a lot of fun. All right? Yeah. Uh, got another comment coming on. And, uh,. There's people out of here that are using what we're going to do. We're going to break this record. So, uh, Victor, what's your last name, bud? Victor Scott. All right. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Victor. <laughs> Yeah, I was just recording it on that. What's the podcast called? Oh my God. It's called Off the Grid. Still awake? Off the Grid. Yeah, and I was like, I usually just talk to the comics, awesome but I thought oh, I just recorded it and put it out. Fucking up with those. I think I'm gonna put the whole thing out. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I'll fucking give it a listen to them. Yeah, check it out. I'll, figure, I'll probably put it out in a couple weeks, you know. But yeah, I just basically yeah. turned the zoom on. So. And it got it all, so fuck it. Well, it was a fucking wicked show. Thanks, man. Thanks for hanging out. I got pissed so much. Yeah, I was just gonna. Uh,